Going live. You are live, or so it says. Do I believe you, YouTube? I don't know if I do. I don't believe anything from the internet right now. Mostly because my fiber cable was cut and I had to live 24 hours without it. And that was fun. That was that truly was fun. fun. Hey, thank you, Echo. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Circus Electric. The grand reopening is tonight, apparently. If you've never heard of this game before, it just released yesterday. Or the day before. Whenever September 6th was. And it is a Darkest Dungeon-like game with circus management. And all sorts of weird and wacky characters from Victorian England. And steampunk. Isn't it a grand old time? Also, there are some fun settings in here. Uh, controller support is here as well, which... I think it was designed for the console, and then they just, you know, like, released PC2. It was like, why not? But over here in audio, you have some filters for old record and 19th century vibe, uh, which I guess are going to keep on. Also, there is a filmic post effect that I turned off because, yeah, I don't know. I didn't feel like having it on. Alrighty, good talk. There are three difficulties. The doorkeeper, easy mode. The artiste, normal mode. And the ringmaster, as I have no idea what I am doing, we're going to learn together. We'll be playing on normal difficulty, which has less rewards for battle, circus shows, and exploration. Negative state of mind effects trigger more often. Enemies have normal damage and dodge values. Characters do not regenerate health at the end of the day. And circus shows have stricter requirements. That all sounds so fantastic that I have poison. And a story. The poster. How dare they. I promised myself I would never see him again. Ten years is far too soon after what he did. What he did. <laughs> Yet here hey, I love. am, reporting on the least important story for tomorrow's paper. The grand reopening of his circus electric. He hasn't lost his charisma. I'll give him Ladies that. And gentlemen, boys and girls, on his program, members of the Always giving us <laughs> something new, something bigger. I'll give you the pillar of horror. Something more dangerous. I've seen no. these two before. That's their happy face. No. Oh. <laughs> Maybe they'll arrest Uncle. That'd be a story I could get behind. Nice. A Tesla Tower. What are they doing? Die! What? Yeah, what? That's the appropriate Die! response. Die! Then All right. I hear him. Grok, Balthy, save my niece. Okay. So... Our uncle is the Bring ringmaster. The some bobbies to their knees. He turned on a, a Tesla coil, a giant Tesla coil. These two people went insane and tried to kill me, and now I'm being saved by a clown and a strongman. Intriguing start. Alrighty, overcome your opponents in battle with skills. Each character can use one skill every turn. Makes sense. Alrighty, so we have our health bar here. Works on enemies. Oh, this. This is auto-selected for us, okay. So it's telling me to hit somebody. You. <laughs> Minus five, I happy face. Your rubber ball cracked his rib. Jolly good show, Brock. Jolly good show. Oh, I defended. Is there a reason I defended, or was it just a random thing? Faces, people. Positioning matters. Yes, yes, yes. Certain skills can only be used in certain positions and against specific target slots. Both are indicated in the skills description. You can also manually move teammates forward, frontward, or further back during combat. Balthazar's skill, called Front Blow, would be useful here. However, Balthazar, or Front Blow, is only available for use in the first position where Grok is. Move Balthazar forward to use Front Blow for his next turn. This will push Grok to the second position. Just move forward. Okay, Trust not. <laughs> Trust me. 
Not only can Grok use a ball throw in any position, it is also effective against all enemies, wherever they may be placed. Great. So I'm going to keep doing it. Sounds good. I don't know what this sad face is, but I hope it's like sanity. I want to make my enemies insane. That's my favorite thing in the world. Morale damage. Now, show me that front blow, comrade. Comrade. Okay, that's this. And if I hit him, he dies, I think. Sure. Yep. So I can just one tap people with uh, the strong men. Each character acts once in their turn in an order determined by the value of their initiative attributes. We could have seen that coming. It's up here. So, got it? Okay. Ball throw. Hey, we did it. Oh, and the lady's back. And she's a tiger. Self-defense. Hmm. We got some resources. Shillings. Okay. Food. And circus fame. All right. <laughs> a rather eventful reunion after ten years. Was it not, Denise? It sure was. Do I have to click, or are you just going to auto-click? Uh, Saving lives isn't really your style, Uncle. But thank you. Mm. I sent some underlying tension in this familial reunion. <laughs> I see your mother's lion remains as spirited as ever. Yes, and just as blind. No thanks to you. Oof. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have some facts to gather. Ah, for your circus story. Of course. Of course. Dear God, no. What? I need to understand what the hell just happened here. That's the new story. Oh, the, the police attacking me. Come, let's find Dr. Mabry. He hid once this maddening took hold, but... But he's a brilliant man with brilliant thoughts. Unlike certain present company. Ooh, low blow. Hmm. I'll not have you speak of Grok in that way. Or <laughs> Grok, as it were. Aww. A character with a high precision attribute has less chance of missing an attack. Where is Dr. Mabry? We've looked everywhere. Not quite everywhere. Of course, we haven't found him yet. Train is unlocked. Character unlocked the fire blower. Performs may appear in the train to be recruited. Let's recruit a fire performer. How do I do that? No Dr. Mabry in here. But I do believe I spot some new talent. Bertha, the fire thrower. I'll take you for ten shillings, which is magically just as much as I possess. You've taken every coin in my pocket, fair lady. Praised Bobby, coming right for us. What? Tell me, Bertha, the fire blower, you any good in a fight? A uh, fight, sir? Oh, he brought a mime. Huh? <laughs> There's a mime? Low devotion hinders a character's combat performance severely. Okay, so is that what I'm doing? Oh, there is a mime. Devotion largely determines the character's effectiveness in battle. Higher devotion bars may lead to higher damage and chance to hit. Okay, I do loathe missing. I have a fire blow attack, which seems to be an AoE. Yes, yes, but yeah. her very name puts the breath in fire breathing. Using certain skills within a battle can instantly increase or decrease the devotion of targets. Use Trumpet Boost to temporarily increase all members' devotion. Define trumpeting. Okay. Everyone's increased devotion inspires us all. I have a feeling I'm going to really like the clown. <laughs> devotion may have two different values. The base value constantly affects the character's effectiveness, while the temporary values only last for a few rounds. In battle. I see, I see. So I can do the front blow thing. Or I can spine breaker, which deals loads of damage. With a 20% precision penalty. Chance to move positive effects. Okay. Shall I try and YOLO? 82% <laughs> seems pretty good for a one tap. All in the race. Oh. Oh. I tried. I tried and got so far. Like your own performers, reducing opponent's devotion may lessen their effectiveness. If the devotion of an opponent or a player drops to zero, they will flee the battle. 
That mime over there doesn't seem to be too devoted. Use fire throw to try to chase him out of battle. Well, you know exactly what my build's gonna be. We're gonna crump a devotion. Bertha, worth all ten shillings for sure. Maybe even eleven. No, just ten. Just ten, just ten. I agree, I agree, just ten. So, I can heal at the cost of my own devotion. I see. Or we can trumpet boost. I wonder if I can stack this infinitely. I wonder. Yeah. Or did it say just one turn? It might have said just one turn. One tap. Mm. Like that? You would think that I'd learned my lesson, but I, I really don't. It did appear to be a one turn thing. Okay. I cannot use this on the frontline guy. Okay. Got it. Comprende. <laughs> do, I, do, do I try again? You know, they say third time's the charm. They say third time is the charm. After the third time, I'll give up. Although, honestly, I don't need to do it anymore because his health is low enough. But I need to prove a point. The third time is the charm. Would you look at that, everybody? A round of applause for the Armstrong. The strong one. Balthazar guilt. Wait a minute. Wrong game. In some combat situations, it is better to reduce opponent's devotion. In most is combat. fighting normal for you, ringmaster? Yeah, yeah. Only very recently. You just endangered this poor girl's life. Bertha, are you hurt? A scratch or two. You didn't get touched, my dear lady. Nothing a night in the sleeping cart won't heal. <laughs> the sleeping cart. Oh, I see. Injured performers can relax in the sleeping cart, but they cannot participate in anything else in the meantime. That makes sense. Must recover. Uvon. Hello. You are tall. Yvonne, so lovely to see you. Banged up as you may be from surviving out there. Uh, perhaps the sleeping cart should be yours for the evening. Of course. Oh, poor Yvonne. Let Yvonne rest in the sleeping cart. I don't think I did that. <laughs> it takes time to heal. Let her rest in the sleeping cart until tomorrow. I oh, noticed a food cost as well. Dr. Mabry. Help! Well. Save me from these relentless brigands! More of these fop doodles? Oh, fuck. <laughs> fop doodles. More of these fop doodles. I hope they continue to bring back, like, old... archaic languages. Although devotion can increase some skills' damage and chance to hit, devotion does not affect every skill. Skills affected by devotion are highlighted with an electric effect around their icons. The positive or negative effects of devotion is highlighted in parentheses within each skill description. Ah, oh, that's cool. I see. Well, you know what I'm going to start with. Destroy the motivation. Leave them without the will to live. That's my plan. I don't really have any other plan. I guess I'm going to try and one-tap this guy. You know, again. Because I totally learned my lesson. I also can't help but notice that they're not hitting me. Oh. Why did you lose health? Anyway. So I've pressed this button four times now. And I've only hit once. Only once. That is a 25% chance, not an 82% chance. Or are we talking like... XCOM 82%. In which case, 1 in 4 is about about accurate for that. I'm liking the dodging. Okay, I guess I'm just going to do a regular hit now. Let's be boring. Let's not roll the die anymore. We're not playing Astria. Unfortunately. I was playing Astria very recently. Uh... Well, yesterday. <laughs> and it's so hard to play Mooney now. Just because I'm so used to the damage of the new guy. Yay, we got eight resources. 30 shillings. They were rich. And now we're rich. Some skills are affected are more affected by devotion than others. 
All animals are equal. Some are more equal than others. Days always end after battles, with circus results and character statuses reported from there. One day since the maddening. Look at our lovely friends. There's a bunch of things here. Everyone ate some food. Bertha did get scratched. Oh, I'm sorry, Bertha. And we have Uvon. Effects from buildings are realized the following day. Yvonne was healed after a night in the sleeping cot and is ready to join the exploration team. You want my opinion on this, don't you, Amelia? Of course. The pillar of power you designed was lit. Exactly lit. then, everything around us went to hell. XCOM percent references will always be top tier. Absolutely. And they will never go away. You, uh, you should see what happened to the London Bridge. Did it fall down? The London Bridge? Has it fallen down, my fair Mabry? <laughs> I, I see they took that chance. My fair lady. Or worse. Uh, uh, disappear. What? Uh, my drones confirm it. Vanished. Am I more surprised by the London Bridge disappearing or the fact that he has drones in 1899? Vanished? How? I, I can get you there to see for yourself with a map. A map? I just need, just need time. May I bring it to you shortly? All things come shortly from you, Ollie. Join us at the circus tent when you can. That's where she'll be with me watching how I plan my shows. What? You don't want to recruit more talent at the train first? I do. A marvelous suggestion, Amy. First the train, then the circus tent. Excellent. I'm glad we've come to a three new performers. Oh, I see. So we have Pablo, another clown. What is the the difference here? Recruit three. Oh, I don't have a choice. All right, so Pablo the crown. Daily fee of one, one meat. Uh, here we go. Recruit. Wait a minute. Clown acrobat. Fire blower crown. Yep, don't know what that means. I'm still confused, but that's okay. We'll figure it out, I'm sure. In all in due time. Escape artist performers may appear in the train to be recruited. Oh, well, that's Uvan. The circus tent is unlocked. New circus show draft is available. I hope they're about to explain that. And right. this is how it's done. Select the Village Roadshow Draft as a first step. You will get more drafts later. The next step in preparing for a circus show is to select the appropriate performers. Every performer has a preferred performance type, but many are also particular about whom they like to work with. The more attention you pay to the chemistry of your performance, the more successful your shows will be. Look here to see which performance type the character prefers. The chemistry bar changes at much lower rate if the icon on the performer card does not match its assignment on the table. The green icon here indicates this performer enjoys working with the specified character class. The red icon indicates the opposite. To the left, the character's own class is highlighted. Oh, I see. Okay. I get it. So. Why are these x so Maria has this purple thingy, so she likes to be a supporting act. Cool. Caesar has this red arrow. The line connecting the two characters shows how effectively they work together based on the chemistry icons. Green indicates a strong relationship. Red, the opposite. Character compatibility is displayed in the chemistry bar. The higher ratings earning more stars. The more stars you accumulate, the more rewards you earn from your performances. I see. And Pablo has to be this. Hit the next button if you're satisfied with the performer setup. So let me investigate this real quick. So Caesar likes working with fire throwers, but does not like working with clowns. And because he's connected to a fire thrower, he is satisfied. Maria likes working with clowns, but not with escape artists. Is that what that is? And you like working with fire throws. Okay, I think I got this. Sure. These are numbers. That I'm sure means something. Here you can distribute the stars you earned in the previous step to best yield benefits from your next performance. 
distribute your stars without exceeding the potential value of a draft in any category. Once you have distributed all the stars available, hit the Announce button and the event will be held later today and the next day's newspaper will report the results. Since they're busy with the show, selected performers cannot be used for anything else for the rest of the day. So, I, it looks like I can only put things in audience. And that's it. Cool. Come one, come all. This event will take place after the next battle. Okay. Amazing tricks. What a waste of time. <laughs> what a waste of time. Hey, Penny. So I get to watch, try this out. It does look like fun. I was really on the fence about this game, but so far, I'm a little confused, but it's drawn me in. You love it. <sighs> See? Even the Ringmaster thinks I like this game. Die! Oh. Wait, what was that? Die! Die! Even more bloodthirsty vicious. Toss a bobby. Complete with control specs, Steam's mechanique. Me mechanic devices became available to the general public just in time for the Christmas of 1891. Okay. Oh, there's a lady. A posh woman. Girl level one. That does appear to be what she is. So this guy, like, the mind is like an instant break, I think, with this attack. Get owned. Bruh. I love the fire thrower. Literally my favorite character so far. And it's not because of the morale attack. But that might have something to do with it. Uh, well, I like this button. I don't think the, the clown has any other buttons, honestly. Oh, you know, I probably should heal, though. <laughs> probably. So you can only use this attack, it looks like. Oh, but I want to use this. Hmm. Uh... Can you? I want to see your spells. <laughs> mm. I'm not happy with our team. How do I change this? Use show off to increase damage and reduce all incoming damage. While the effect of trumpet boost wears off after a short time, show off increases your character's devotion permanently. I like that. Moves Balthazar to the front, boosts damage by 5%, reduces all suffer damage by 5%, devotion increased by 5%, lasts till the end of battle, cycle number two. Yes! Okay. And that, boys and girls, is why he's so often the main event. I see. This icon represents all active status effects enacted by Show Off. Whether positive or negative, skills can inflict active status effects on allies or enemies, often for multiple times. Okay. I see. Places... Or excuse me. Deals fire places a trap for one turn. Huh. A fire whip. Okay, so I can swap places here and be fine. She has 21 devotion, though. Mm. Wow, you can deal a shite load of damage. Well. Let's deal a shite load of damage, shall we? What? Oh. I can only hit this guy with it. And kill him. Now you are mad. Is that because you're the last person alive? Oh, you missed. <laughs> Get owned. Enters a stance. Retaliates moving enemies. Oh, we can do a dance build. I haven't done a dance build in like... Ages. <laughs> okay. Alrighty, I'm picking it up. Honestly, I probably get to play it on hard mode, but that's okay. Grand opening. Fantastic. Reputation. We got a skill upgrader. Okay. Fill the Amaze Meter by performing successful attacks against the vicious. The Amaze Meter. I'm level one and a half. A Transformer, a Sparker, and Distilled Water. Hmm. I don't know why Bertha is still taking damage. One of your characters is ready to level up. Cool. 
When characters level up, several of their attributes increase. For each level up, characters can distribute 10 points to increase their circus act values. Higher circus act values are essential for more complex shows. Okay. So all of this was increased just automatically. However. This I need. So he just doesn't like working with fire blowers. Oh dear. Uh, so, like, do I want to equally balance this stuff, or do I want to just be, like, way imbalanced and go all in on one thing? Like that. <laughs> what does auto assign do? I mean, randomly, no. Sure. The skills can be upgraded to the character's Level. Use skill upgraders to strengthen your skills. I see. Um, so this <laughs> leveling up the spine breaker slowly reduces its precision penalty by 1%. Slowly. Gently. Uh, increases damage boost. I have never used this ability at all. Decreases devotion by 5%. Ooh. Dodge chance reduction. Oh, but I lose my own devotion. I don't like that. What's this? When Balthazar is standing on slot 3 or 4, increase crit chance. Oh. I'm immune to... Oh, interesting. Immune to movement in stats 1 and 2. That's pretty good. Well, I mean, I'll just upgrade this, I guess. Cool. Should I just upgrade everything? Probably not. Let's upgrade his basic attacks. And then move on. Okay. Amelia, I, I have this for you. For answers. A map? A map. It'll get you to the Vanished Bridge. Through all the dangers. Okay. Just how dangerous are these dangers, Dr. Mabry? Very. But you see, that's the beauty of this map. The map. I have drones. I have the police radio. I know what's, what's out there. Okay. Such as? Abandoned boxes left behind by evacuees. Wanton violence. A bunch of who knows what. That's the question mark. How specific? This map will keep you safe. Safer, anyway. Safer, yes. I shall put it to good use. Thank you, Dr. Mabry. Okay. Too much information? Feeling lost? Can't remember previously explained gameplay mechanics? Press this button for instant help. <laughs> Thank you, game. Thank you. Why is this clicking? Uh, is it telling me that there is no one in here? I am aware of that, but I don't think I need anyone in there right now. Any new performers? There are new performers. We have two new escape artists and another fire thrower. Ventriloquist. I do like fire throwers. Can I just have a bunch of fire throwers? Hmm. I can't help but feel like I don't need anyone else right now. You have loads of restrictions. What if I just take you, Lizzie? We'll just take Lizzie. Sure. No, I'm not even going to take Lizzie. <laughs> Alrighty, embark to explore the streets of London. Not so fast, young lady. The story's out there, Uncle. So I'm going out there. Exactly. Yes, of course you are, but not without some help. Help? From whom? Your second-rate performers who aren't good enough for the premiere? Ooh. A rather negative spin. And only mostly inaccurate. <laughs> They're a devoted bunch. And they'll fight like old boots for you. Your safety matters, Amy. You're offering safety? You? Amy, your mother's accident. I... I know you'll never forgive me, but... Goodbye, Uncle. Good luck with the show. Aww. I guess I'm stuck with the four of you. 
but what order suits you best? Yes. Assemble your team of up to four performers. Each as ready for battle as they are to explore each district with you. Consider explorers' sought preferences as you place them as indicated at the bottom of each card. Fill your exploration team from the available characters by dragging or right-clicking on them. Okay. I want... Maria in the back. I want Yvonne in third. And I want Pablo in second. Abandoned boxes, and I met Brock. Violence, a bunch of who knows what. Uh, can I go back? <laughs> Each map is made of nodes in the route that connect them. The exploration team moves from node to node in the district towards their final target. Explore London to reveal different types of events and items, such as loot crates, patrolling enemies, random encounters, and boss battle. Select this node to move forward. On the next turn, you can choose to move left or right. There we go. I need Gronk. I need my boy. Uh, sure. Good enough. We found some resources and some components, which there's crafting in this game. Now. Okay. Whichever way we choose, we're sticking to it. No need to further endanger ourselves. So we're heading... Oh dear. We're heading here. But how I get there is a matter of... Questions. It's nice to be recognized by the streets... On the streets by circus goers. Now they're demanding we take the circus to them with an impromptu performance. An impromptu performance? What do you think I am? A slave? To my work? Interview. Well, I guess we must go see how what as many of these things are. Tonight's circus show isn't going to set up itself. Are we sure we want to continue? Oh. I need to do this first. Okay. Um... What does this mean? Does this mean you could do all of it? Uh... Did I put Maria in there? Um... Why? Ah, you don't like working with strong arms. Uh, yes. Why is that a different color? I don't know. Maria. Am I missing something? All of these are checked. Uh, don't know. Okay. You only put points in audience right now. Alrighty. Small cast, huge cast. Bup up. And now we need Bertha in the back. Fantastic. Perfect. I guess that's why you want to recruit more people. But I'm usually pretty bad at, like, managing a huge, a large team. Because you want to level up, like, the same Some people, right? Some skills require no exertion. Passive skills. One class skill for each class exerts a continuous passive status effect throughout the battle. Certain performers may have an additional random passive skill below the one assigned to their class. So when standing in slot 3 and 4, Bertha gains immunity against taunt effects, and she's immune to fire. Which makes sense. Deals damage to us, but increases devotion. Interesting. Okay, this is a real fight, it looks like. Alright. It's our first real fight. I mean, the other fights were real, they were just, you know. Eventish. What happened there? When Grok's increased stance increases devotion. Oh. Grok automatically heals a few health for a random teammate every round. Oh, that's nice. So. 
This actually might be a good idea. What if that only applies to his devotion? What a weird character. <laughs> Alright. I didn't realize there were other buttons. I might try his stance, because I don't understand how it works. Owie! Bro! This is on the enemy, right? Don't try nothing. Yes. Okay. Good. <laughs> Scared me for a second. How much? 81%. 81% to just one tapper. <sighs> I want to do it. You don't understand. Why does this hurt you so much more? I don't know. But I'll take it. I will take it. Hey, Lord Kakai. Welcome, welcome. Our uh, fire-breathing lady has... had an accident. Uh, so Balthazar can move himself. Actually, everyone can move themselves, basically. I hate spending a turn to move. Shield. Oh, hey, there's a stance. Okay. Uh. Taunt. Let's see what taunt does. Works on self. Oh. I got increased devotion. I've moved forward. I'm assuming I'm more likely to attack. We have stances. So I can decrease my devotion, or is this my, the any de devotion decrease? I think it's them to move. Can I interrupt stances by moving, like in Eratus? Any movement of enemies are canceled and retaliated. Bro? Don't like the look of you. Hmm. Let's see. I can do my AoE attack back here. Wished it pretty well. Slapstick. Someone, wants to play. Someone does want to play. I think the fire thrower can interrupt stances. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This attack. Remove all positive effects. I did break your stance. She defended it, but I broke her stance. Okay. Oh. The healing power of laughter! Okay. Let's see. Don't you dare. What does this do? Any movement of enemies are cancelled and retaliated. Okay. Knocking you knocking. Resisted. I kinda wanna just throw this again. <laughs> but no, we'll move up. We'll show off a little bit. We need to get Bertha back. Bertha's in a scary position. I thought I was supposed to cancel. Or is that... Can I move with you? I don't think so. Hmm. Okay. I broke the stance again. Five bucks or she just does it again, though. Oh, no. My devotion. I need that. Okay, well. Let's punch. He lived at one. Lived at one! Hmm, how am I supposed to increase devotion of Yvonne? Like, permanently? That's a question. Because Balthazar can keep buffing himself, I suppose. 
Brock can buff himself. Huh. Uh-oh. She's blue and angry. Ow. Feels good, don't it? Does. I miss. Embarrassing. Wow. Um I see. Look out below. I don't think I want her in the third position. <laughs> Hmm. <laughs> Reputation. Foggy weather takes a toll on your performers. They will suffer devotion loss every turn. Oh, that sucks. Ah, yes. Fine journalism, this. At the end of each day, the newspaper summarizes the most important events of the past 24 hours. Look for articles about recent events, last night's show, and the commercial status of the circus. Plus a few surprises. Okay. Common circus crowd consensus. We've seen better, but we still liked it. Successo meter of two. Wow. 16 audience. I think that was higher than it was going to be. This is lore, I'm assuming. This business report on the circus electric. As the current bound support of the Circus Electric shows the Ringmaster's once world-famous attraction still operates. London might be burning, but the show must go on. Okay. Are we really being protected by circus folk? You are. You really are. I hope you're proud of me. Because someone has to be. The London City Circus. New circus show draft available. Okay. I am a little wounded, but I'm not that wounded. A new draft is available. When choosing a draft for your evening show, there are several things to consider. The number of slots indicate how many performers are needed to start the show. The stars show the potential maximum revenue, audience satisfaction, and performer experience for the program. Performing the same program for several evenings in a row leads to boredom. Low novelty hinders its maximum potential, and beware, losing a battle doubles the current show's novelty deduction. I see, there's a little orange thing there. Hmm. Sometimes it is worth switching characters between circus shows. Yvonne's preferred slot is any, so she is comfortable in any performance type. The higher devotion the selected performers have, the more successful their shows will be. The total devotion value of the selected characters is shown on the devotion bar. These produce stars the same way chemistry bar does. I see. Well, our highest devotion is currently Balthazar Gill. I mean... Balthazar. Look, he's doing it all by himself. The Afterpiece. My only green is Ivan. That's my only green. Hmm. Do I have a fire? And you're my <laughs> you're my only blue. Well, We need to recruit some more people, don't we? <laughs> By increasing the audience stars, you can earn more revenue, increase your chances of receiving gift. Increase entertainment stars, yield more circus fame, and increase your chance of receiving gifts. More complexity stars results in more experience gained for performers. With predictions, you get accurate feedback on what rewards the stars you're assigning will yield after the show. I don't know what's more important. But we're kind of rich right now. So experience. It's the talk of the town. Cool. Uh, that does mean Balthazar is... Between two battles with the vicious, you will 
set up a new circus show to grow the reputation and revenue of the circus, assign performers to circus buildings to ensure no one gets bored, explore the city with the exploration team marching towards your goal, and prepare for the next clash with the vicious. Okay. Recruit performers can be tried in a no-risk test battle. No. I see. Can I get a new type of unit? Nope. You know, they're... Clowns seem like they could be okay. But I need a... Is it a green one? Any greens? No greens. I have another any. From another escape artist. Hmm. Enters the stands, reduces all damage suffered to everyone standing behind. Boost damage, boost initiative, lasts until end of battle, stack limit three. Oh, interesting. So, oh, they have different abilities. Oh, dear. Oh, dearie me. To make target unable to attack for one turn. Hmm. What about you? You seem to have the same things. Except for the shield stuff. Hmm. What's this? Deals poison damage. Oh. And then knocks people back. Interesting. When Dominia is standing on slot 3, has any skills devotion cost? Oh. Do you have a skill that costs devotion? I don't think so. Hmm. Well, I can refresh. Oh, look, and any. She likes working with Fakir and clowns. Fakir. Yeah. Oh, there's a green. Another any. The electric chair. That seems like a good idea. Another strong... I have. I don't need three strong men, though. To be honest, everything I don't have two of is freaking you. Uh... Boost dodge, boost damage. Hmm. I don't have anyone she likes working with. There's a lot of things to think about. <laughs> Alright, I'm just gonna leave. <laughs> I want new friends. How do I get new friends? What is this? Uh, is this what I, I think this is what I have right now. They'll be fine. Requires circus level two. How do I get circus? Oh, right, I'm leveling up. Okay. Sure. Let's bring in Caesar. That's not what I meant. And who's the other character? Double fire breather. What could go wrong? So what's your thing? Immune to fire. What's this? Reduces precision by 13% for one turn. 10% chance to decrease devotion by 5%. Maria's devotion decreases by 4%. I see. Hmm. So you don't have my favorite attack. I don't know if I like that, Maria. I don't think I do. We got some resources. Hey, look, it's a mystery event. Let's go to the question mark. The speeds down the street, standing atop a steam wheel. Somehow, he's managed to turn the machine on without wearing control specs. Without them, he'll likely crash any second now. So, we can fight. We have to try and follow. Uh, try and follow him, make sure he doesn't hurt anyone, which looks like a fight. Leonidas can tackle him for a reward. Or, are these devotion events? 
Um, uh, uh, let him have his fun. Wonderful. <laughs> Despite just barely missing several passerbys, the steam wheel rider remarkably moves forward and out of sight without incident. I don't know how he was able to start the mechanic device without control specs, much less control at that speed, but it appears he knew what he was doing. Yay! I'm a genius! <laughs> hey, Mtar. No idea what just happened, but that's okay. I got devotion out of it, and that's that's enough for me. Alright, it's time for another fight! 1889 was a big year. The in-show death of Shonda the Lion Tamer in spring, followed by the shuttering of the Circus Electrique by early summer, and the founding of Steam that fall. The founding of Steam. Alrighty, so we have two bobbies, and we have a park keeper. A groundsman level two. We have some level twos in this. This encounter. If I can deal 15 and 10 to him... Maybe not. Hmm. I wonder if I can move people around. Because I have this trap here, right? And I can trap again. This attacks the first... Oh, wait, no. So can I move people around? I don't think so. Maybe? <laughs> Chance to reduce dodge. Chance to move the target to the last slot. Yeah, 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 yeah. So if I throw this ball at his face, he resisted. Okay. That's fine. Mostly. I resisted and got depressed. Oh, that sucks. Resist and devotion loss. Also sucks. It looks like they're just taking damage from the trap. What does this mean? Uh-oh. Oh, good dodge. Can I cleanse that? I think I can. Um, I think I can just kill this guy, though. Okay. Bye, Felicia. So now they move forward into the traps. Beautiful. Clears all negative effects. So I can do this. She's immune to fire, though. Oh, that's so smart! The, the fire, flame eaters can support each other. Repeatedly. Hi, how do you like fire? Oh, it doesn't hurt when they move into it. Mm, I don't like that. Don't like that one bit. He should be dead. He just took a load of damage. I know that much. Did he have double ignite? Do I have a way to remove buffs? Yeah. <laughs> if I can hit with this. A 56% chance. No. I think I'm good. Stunning attack. Boom. Balthazar, my boy. Your name is not Balthazar. Balthazar is my canonical name for, uh, for the strong men. I guess I'm just gonna whip that booty. Sure. What? Will you die to the ignite? No, it went away. You have 19. You have more motivation than I thought. 82. 82. Okay. Smack. No. Should have buffed. Ow. This guy's stunned. Very nice. 88%. Divertus. Lord of Amusement. Ideally. Alrighty. Uh, is there a way I can milk a heal out of this? I don't think so. 
I liked the flame eater synergy. If I wanted to, I also like that her flame is purple or green. That's a good way of of differentiating them. I like the idea of just spamming like the devotion increase on the two of them back and forth. No sign of it nowhere! Young children asked, is it over yet? Throughout last night's circus electric. Ah, that sucks. Today's pathetic performance resulted in a total act of gift from an outraged audience. That sucks. My daily balance, cool. So is that because there wasn't a green connection? That went from 50 to 1,200. Are you serious? What? What? Hey, look, it has a two on it. Yes, yes, yes! It's alive! There she shines, the second pillar of power. More spectacular acts await, and more importantly, Higher admission prices. <laughs> or if you believe a certain theory is out there, even more bloodthirsty vicious. It's not exactly blood or beer around here right now, like when we lit the first pillar, is it? No vicious nearby for days. Do not jinx it. Hmm. Alright. New buildings and skill upgrades we will continue to grow from here. The more fame the circus gains, the more buildings and upgrades become available. No upgrades can be higher than the current level of the circus. We get bigger, we get better. Use certain resources to upgrade most circus buildings, expanding their possibilities. For example, a higher level train allows you to recruit higher level characters. The level also affects recruitment costs, daily fees, and even the availability of certain character classes. Upgrade. Yay. I would like... A new class. This guy's name is Dick. Can I do three fire eaters somehow? <laughs> she likes working with snake charmers and knife throwers, which I don't have. You like working with strong men and have an all on any position thing, which is probably really good for me. But you're in level one. She's level two. <sighs> also, why don't you have the devotion attack? Do you have the devotion attack? You do. And you have a blue thing. Any other greens? Oh, actually, quite a few greens. Mm. I wish I had any of these other characters. <laughs> when Dick is entering a stance, he heals a random team member. Do I have to take Dick for the meme? <laughs> I almost want to take a third fucking... I feel like I should wait until I get a new class, honestly. Or, I should evict low-level members to get new members in. Ah? What does this do? Assigned performers gain 5% at the end of the day. Oh! Yeah. So I can use this- oh, I got new slots. I can use this to increase- to not only heal, but also increase devotion. Balthazar does kind of need some help. He's missing 17 hit points. All right, let's see what the, the show is. Oh, dear. Why is this a cracked star? Dude, for the vine. Oh, God. Okay. All right, this one has a green thing. 
This is the one that, yeah, this is the one I'm good at. So if I were to say, yeah, I don't care. We like working with a fire eater. So we have a purple fire eater who likes working with a clown. Oh, but she doesn't like working with a strongman. Neither of them do. Wait, no, you don't like working with uh, something else. Clown. Blue clown. Pablo. Yeah, your devotion is non-existent, though. I guess it's just not a thing for the first one. I don't know why this is orange. This bulb is orange again. <sighs> okay, fine. I mean, it's only six to refresh, you know? I feel like I have to use a clown, though. One more refresh. <laughs> one more. Just, just one more. Just hit me one more time. The Tank of Terror. Hmm. One more. <laughs> wow. Hmm. Concerto. He's a concerto. He doesn't have a second passive, though. Do I care? Kind of. One more. Do it again. <laughs> Just keep refreshing. Electro Jungler. When Walker's turn ends, increases devotion. Alright, sure. <laughs> that sounds good. That sounds amazing. Likes working with Fire Blower, but does not like working with Balancer and Strongman. Hmm. Likes working with Clowns, but does not like working with Fire Blowers. It's kind of a problem, because I love my Fire Blowers. Same thing with you. Okay, so with this, how screwed am I? Go here. You're green. I don't have anything you love working with, unfortunately. Unfortunately. Eh, neither of them do. I mean, at least there's mo devotion. <laughs> at least it's got that going for you. Right? Double clowns. How do I fire people? Like Caesar. Okay, it's there. Who's this miss? Okay. I don't know how important this ultimately is. <laughs> it might not be important at all. One more refresh. gotten addicted to the refreshing. Hit me one more time. I'm gonna take another fire thrower. <laughs> okay. For real this time. Uh, you are a purple, which is not in part of this. Alright, I'm just gonna go with it. There. No, we'll go two and two. Two and two. The London City Circus. How it all began. Yeah, it's gonna be great. Absolutely great. Measure you. Okay. So we have Grok. I'm gonna try it. <laughs> this is gonna go great. Oops, no. I want to see your... Oh, I need to level you up. 
or no, you're just saying you have uh, level up skills. Okay. So do you have the shield? You do. This can only happen from the back, though. Interesting. So you can level up your buff, which I think I'm going to do. Breaks the target stance. Okay. Taunt. Hmm. So you you want to taunt first. Maybe? Enters a stance until next turn. Retaliates moving enemies. Hmm. Anyway. <laughs> oh, I want to see what you can do from the front. You can do that and just that. So we want you to be second. This will be a beautiful team. What could go wrong? What could go awry? Truly. How are my second-rate performers handling things out there, Amy? Swimmingly. I thank you for sending them with me. It seems every step closer to the bridge offers a new obstacle. It's true. Yet things have calmed down around the circus. Curious. Yes. How is it that a site full of freaks is the safest, maybe even the sanest, place in town? We are doomed, aren't we? And the maddening began mere moments after lighting the pillar of power. Pure coincidence? Um, yes? Surely you don't suspect I have some hand in this chaos? No, no, not that at all. Involve actually thinking about you, Uncle. Oh, that hurts even more. Which is something I actively try not to do. Ow. So is this, like, story progression? The hat? That might be what that is. All right, let's meme it up, shall we? <laughs> Triple fire thrower. Because, oh, you are beautiful. Knowing when to strike could prove the key to victory. Uh, guard, wait, and flee. Oh, is there wait in this game? Please tell me there's wait in this game. The guard command skips your turn, but yields extra protection thanks to the defensive position. Issue the wait command to save the current character for the end of your turn to end things with the most impact. If you choose the flee command, the character enters a special stance, and if the opponent does not interrupt it, leaves the battle in the next turn. Where is it? Oh, here. Nice! I love delay action. It's so, so good. Anyway. First things first. What are we looking at? I don't know what the mime does. I always avoid him. You might not be the best person to be in the second position, dear lady. Although it kind of looks like that's all they've got going for them. Ah, anyway. Anyway. Just put down the traps. You know how this goes. We've seen this play. Oh no, a stance. I'm sure I won't do anything about that. <laughs> Your stance can't save you from fire on the ground, can it? Hmm. Depressed. Been there. Done that. <laughs> Fucking ow! You're gonna move me, aren't you? Yep. Okay. Okie dokie. Though all of our traps are down. We have a chance to remove this buff, which is cool. And I think I'm gonna take it. I resisted. Or she resisted. Um. Let's just do this. Reduces precision. Oh. Oh. I don't think I want to do this. Let's break stances. Yeah, I did not. Or did I? Feels good, don't it? I, 
can't tell. <laughs> well, let's get her out of the first position, shall we? Let's bring our clown friend forward. He is marked and depressed. That's not great. And that's why that's not great. Owie. Owie. Can you heal yourself? I wonder. Okay. We'll get rid of this guy. Bye, Felicia. Which will pull this guy into the fire. Wahaha. We are going to purge our friends. Oh, he defended the fire attack. Very convenient. And we'll see if we can break her stance again. Which it did not appear so. These ladies are terrifying. She set herself on fire, though. So, <laughs> that's cool. I guess. Alrighty. Let's have a little song. An inspiring song. You're supposed to dodge that. Alright, so I think... I think that three fire throwers is one too many. How much damage is this? Enough to kill you. Unfortunately, it's going to lose this ignition, but... Hey, it is what it is. It be what it be. Oh, she's still ignited. Let me whip you then. Oh! Whip that. I did very little damage. Was that a minimum roll? It might have been. How dare you defend that? Tears of a clown. Aww. Can you heal yourself? Can't do anything in the first position though. Bop. A crit, which made her dizzy. Dodge reduced by 10%. Ow. Anakin. Literally lived at one. Yeah, sure. So I'm thinking, can I, can I do the, the devotion manipulation I wanted to? You guys didn't die. Are you both on one hit point? Good dodge. The healing power of laughter. One and four. Ah, uh, yeah. I see the confusion. Die! I'm going to try and manipulate a little bit. So... You can't do this, so you're going to delay. You, however, can. Let's go with... I guess Khalifa. She needs it the most. Okay. I don't know. You have defended that attack every single time. Is there a reason? Am I supposed to be understanding why? Because I don't. <laughs> Identical triplets, pretty much. I do like all their, like, colorful... fires and headband stuff. <laughs> extra, extra! Them crazy vicious! Who are they? We don't bloody know! We've, We've seen better. But we still liked it. Good, good. Crowd cheers as circus performers pummel the vicious. The spotlight. 13 out of 1,200. The circus... What? The house of horror. Oh. The number of boosters show how many tools you can use to improve audience satisfaction. Performers' overall fun, amazement, thrill, and laugh values must meet or exceed these numbers in order to launch the show. 
gifts show what useful crafting components you may receive after the show. Every show has expectations from the audience that must be met in order to, uh, for the performance to be launched. If it was fun, amusement, thrill, and laugh values add up to meet or exceed expectations, the show can proceed. Most drafts have slots that grant certain classes a multiplier on the fun, amazement, thrill, and laugh values. A sign a clown or strongman to this slot to double his stats. Just because it wasn't complicated enough already. Okay, well, Caesar does that, and he likes working with fire throwers. Like Khalifa. Yeah, go ahead. Uh... Then I can put Pablo here. And Maria. And now I did stuff. <laughs> cool. Things are actually glowing, isn't that nice? Sometimes you may wish to allocate more stars to a category than you previously obtained from Chemistry and Devotion. Use boosters to increase the available stars for different categories, earning you a bigger reward at the end of the day. Cool. Oh, so this is my circus experience. I want a lot of that. A lot of that. Some experience for my guys as well. Okay. Honestly, I don't think seven or nine shillings is worth it. I think we would just want full, literally full experience for the circus. Hold on to something. Cool. Why are we here? Just to suffer. Uh, Grok is really wounded, so he needs to heal. Cool. Then you have bonus, bonus motivation. So let's pick up a new friend. Igor. What do you do, Igor? You intimidate people. Wow. That is a huge devotion buff to himself. So this ground shatter decreases enemy devotion, but also Igor's devotion. Hmm. Thaddeus. Wait a minute. So he automatically heals a few health for a random teammate every round. All clowns do that. We're, we've established this. But he also heals a random team member when his turn begins? That seems a little busted. Also, he has an any, an any card. What is this? Deals damage and chance to break the stamps. Hmm. Well, Ralphie. I feel like we should try Thaddeus out. That's just a shitload of healing. I like healing. Increased devotion with entering a stance. Oh, that's pretty good. How many stances do you have? One. One. Oh, this is a stance, too. We'll get Thaddeus. I have loads of clowns. Because I am a clown. <laughs> um, I feel like clowns would synergize really well with each other. You know? Anyone else get that feeling? Because you can enter a stance that retaliates when enemies move, and then you can move enemies with another clown. What if we do that? We can do that, right? Taunt. Yeah. You don't have the stamps. No, you do. So, double clown. Uh. 
I don't have a great third party, party though. I mean, Balthazar can do something. Yeah, yeah, Balthazar can do something. I'm sure he'll come up with something great. Just fantastic. I'm sure this will work. <laughs> I'm sure this will be fine. Uh, we're going to go this way. Maximum stuff. Stuff. Oh, I like your glowing hammer. Alrighty. We have a lot of enemies. Shocker. I don't think I'm going to do devotion damage, though. I don't know. I'm kind of mixed on it, but it's also because I can't... I don't have many people who do devotion. Okay, so what did I want to do? I want to do this. Right. So, I'm going to enter this stance. Don't you dare... And then Thaddeus, my boy, is going to slap this bitch. And I didn't do it. I guess I don't understand how this works. Any movement of enemies are cancelled and retaliated. Doesn't look that way to me, bro. Yeet. <laughs> He's just taking it off the thing. Okay. I got stunned. I don't like that. Someone wants to play. I do not understand how this dance works at all. But that's okay, I think. I would really like to kill you. But I'd really like to remove this debuff. For the best. I do like that I defended the fire again. Uh, don't it make you smile? Yeah, you didn't do anything with that. Okay, fine. Just, just, just mini golf him. It's fine. Oh, better pal. I feel like he can't heal himself. Anyone else get that feeling? I get that feeling. I'm gonna make you go away. <laughs> go away. I don't know what abilities he can do in the... No. The second and third position, but... I've decided that he's not gonna do it. Is there a reason I can't do this? I don't know. Maybe it has a cooldown? Maybe... Maybe not. Lel. Get ranked. Get on, bruh. I would really like to kill somebody. Like you. That's a lot of damage. I do like the flame world. Or the flamethrower, specifically. The character, not the attack. The attack's okay, but... Heal yourself. What? Taunt prevents... Oh, taunt. Okay. You know, I can do that too, bro. I can. But I'm not gonna. Because I'm gonna kill you instead. Really not gonna heal yourself. This is not gonna happen. Okay. Okay. Bonk. Can I break stances? I'm not sure. Balthazar, get up there. Show it off. I don't know what the clown can do in third position, but we're going to find out. We're going to find out right now. You and me. Together. Forever. Might as well just kill him. Get this over with. 
I could heal, but is there really... Oh, there's my stance break. Is there really a reason? I don't think there is. The healing power of Balthazar is almost fully devoted. Balthazar is ready. Ready to get it on. He is enraged. I don't know why. But I don't like it. What's my chance to hit here? 77. Oof. 42 damage. Balthazar, my boy. There's a reason why you are the strong men. The original strong men. Low devotion hinders a character's combat performance severely. You're severe. Not really, no. It's not hopeless out there, but it's close. That's how it always has been. We've seen better, but we still like it. That was my first three star. Would you look at that? I even got some gifts that I don't understand. When do you think the game's gonna tell me about crafting? Anytime soon? Would you look at that? The artisan. I'm assuming the artisan makes stuff. I yep. do hope you're feeling crafty. Would you look at that? All I had to do was complain for a little bit. The artisan crafts useful items from components found as you progress. Items can be used in battle, circus performance, or even while exploring the city. Cool. We will craft a cola, which will increase devotion by 10%. Nice. I can make a few of them. I can also upgrade the building. To heal for health. That is a lot of stuff. Okay. La Bumpa. No, I don't have another cloth. Or another alcohol. A spotlight. I did like the spotlight, but, uh, wow, don't have those. Or smoke. Hmm. Okay. What? The number didn't go down. Oh, I have to hold the button. That would be why. One more. Okay. I have minus 12 food a turn. I don't like that. Also, I can't recruit anyone else, so... This is back to being full novelty. That's cute. But, uh... I need experience. And I'm going to send out the same people, I think. Because it just worked well, you know? Uh, how did I do this? That way. Then you. What? Oh, wait, no, this wasn't how I did it. I've already forgotten. Bum, 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 bum. And I want Maria here. There we go. Pretty sure I can't make this better. Maybe? Oh, then you're unhappy. Well, then you're at least not mad. <laughs> Is this best? Maybe? Possibly. Balthazar does have a lot of devotion. Whatever. Oh. Hmm. That kind of sucks. Maybe I save this then. Okay. There we go. Oh, I have one more. Um, sure. Money's doing kind of fine. All right. Hold on to something. That'll do. That'll do, pig. That will do. You're still sleeping. 
Uh, you need to get over it, mister. Hmm. Okay. Balthazar is going to be doing stuff. Remove performance at the end of the day, yeah. I guess that means I really did him dirty, huh? Your available consumables can be found here. Select the ones your exploration team should take along. Up to six consumables may be selected before, but who? There we go. <laughs> I don't think the game expects me to make that many. To be honest, neither did I. But that's alright. Yvonne. Do you like being in melee? Please go away. Uh, maybe? Sort of? Kind of. <laughs> Let's put you here. What do you do again, Mr. Walker? Oh yeah, you can like buff and throw this ball. That that'll do. Sure. Or a second fire thrower. I do like the fire. If I'm gonna do this, hold on, I have a plan. It's not a good plan, but it's a plan. Yeah, you both have it. Nice. Fuck you, Walker. <laughs> I have another plan. I have another idea. And you can do it, right? Yes. No. Yes. Beautiful. I have a scheme. A beautiful scheme. Oh, we got some components that I needed. See that goal number? We need to choose a performer whose enjoyment rating can best that sum after we spin the wheel. Then we can put all we've earned on the line to try again. It's gambling! <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> okay. Uh, see that goal number, five. If we meet it, then we know we've pleased our audience. Two steps to making that happen. We choose a performer with a high enjoyment rating. Spin the Wheel of Fortune for another number. If the sum of the two is higher than the target value, we win. Then we can choose to take the reward or risk it all with another spin. Well, Khalifa here has a nine. Start. Do I have to hit stop? Or will it stop on its own? I have been known to gamble. Oh my god, I hit the 10. We won! But do we think we can do it again? Of course we can. <laughs> oh, the goals change. <laughs> I see. Um, well, <laughs> shit. All right, we're, we're not going to go again. So pretty much all I need to do is not hit a negative number. Uh. <laughs> Fuck. Here we go. No! <laughs> Should have Good news it. for you, Uncle. Your circus electric story is still happening. Great! Oh? Is your editor growing impatient? My editor is dead. Killed by the entertainment reviewer. Oh. Ivan did that? How terrible. And after such a good review for the premiere. Yes, please go hug him if you see him at the pub. That would end in one hell of a story, I'm sure. But for now, I need an interview. Several, actually. My single story has morphed into an ongoing feature. Oh. You don't say. <laughs> Alrighty. Um. How did you get your foot at the door in the circus business? How did you get your foot in the door on running a circus? You know, I know your story, but I could use some quotes so people believe how dumb you are. <laughs> how flattering. I suppose the beginning was in 1866, 
I was 15, living in Coventry, with no idea what to do with my life. But then he came along. P.T. Barnum. The Prince of Humbugs himself, yes. By chance, our paths crossed as Barnum explored the city. All I could think to say was a bit of history I'm sure he already knew. Lady Godiva once rode naked down this very street. <laughs> he laughed and said he could use a good tour guide. I spent the next few hours in his company. Before we parted, he said to look him up if ever I was in America. Maybe he could return the favor. In 1869, you sought him. In 1869, you sought P.T. Barnum in America. 69. Nice. I don't think Barnum ever expected me to hold him to his promise of a favor in America. But three years later, I most certainly did. I left England for the land of the free and the home of the brave. It only took about two months and all but two of my dollars to find Barnum, but I did. And he remembered me. He was so amused that I went so far to take him up on his offer. He offered me a job to help out his protege, assistant to his assistant. It was all I could have hoped for. I thank his kind soul to this day. Huh. Tell me about working for Barnum's protege, Eli Edwards. Tell me about working for Barnum's protege, Eli Edwards, who now runs the world's most powerful corporation. Most powerful corporation? Oh, is that the steam thing? Oh, always something to prove with Eli Edwards. Early on, we got along very well, until Barnum started asking for my help over his. I think Eli started feeling jealous, devalued even. It didn't help that Barnum actually started referring to me, not Eli, as his protege by the time of our first traveling circus performance in 71. And how do you feel about what Eli has become? Ha! I'll, uh, <clears throat> I'll get back to you on that one. <laughs> All right. We got some lore. Working for P.T. Barnum in his prime must have been exciting. And he actually preferred you to Eli Edwards as his top protege? Rather unbelievable, considering Eli essentially runs the world today, is it not? It is. I'll let you answer your own question in a future interview. <laughs> right now, Uncle Randy, I've had about all I can stand of you. Oof. Me too. Harder for me to escape myself, though. <laughs> I understand that one. Alrighty, off to another clash with my scheme that I'm sure will go stupendously well. Still don't know what the amaze meter is. Consumables brought into battle can be found in the items menu. Select items. Use cola to increase devotion of a team member. Use bandage to heal an injured character. Characters can also use choose to use an item in their turn besides using There's their not skills. There's just caffeine in that American drink we can make, is there? Besides executing a skill, performers can also use a consumable. Great. Makes sense to me. Alrighty. Well. Well, I'm going to start bombing people. Because that's what I want to do. Also, I just noticed this. We can two times this. He should be pretty much dead now. I think. Call for help. No calling for help. And this is bye bye. Gotcha. Bye bye. Bye bye. We could probably try and stun here. Maybe. I don't know about that 75 there. What does this do? Boost Devotion. Charging Attack. You know what? No. I could just try and stun him. <laughs> Who needs voice? Hey! It hurts. I mean, this probably kills him. That was exact lethal. I do like exact lethal. And then Yvonne is going to have a word with this fellow. With handcuffs. The handcuff type word. <laughs> uh, wait a minute, what? Oh. Nope. No, he resisted. Unable to act, though. That's good. 
That's plenty swell. I don't know how this went as well as it did, but it went very well. And I like it when things go well. Would you like to punch? He lived at one. Bastard. You rude boy. Whatever. I thought about increasing my own devotion, but I didn't want to get hit. Again. Poor Khalifa. You know, Khalifa probably needs to sleep. Oh, I could. I don't need to have a circus show every day. Probably should, though. Right, all about it. The vicious attacked, yet local heroes stood strong. Get it? Because they're a strong man. Ah! 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 Are you saying Bertha leveled up? Is this what's going on here? The devoted make the best performers. That's simple. Devotion can be increased in several ways. Using certain friendly skills during battle, using cola during battle, visiting certain district nodes, using certain circus buildings, defeating multiple opponents simultaneously with one attack, forcing enemies to flee, taking part in circus shows. Oh, interesting. So if I... If I focus on devotion damage, good things could happen. Bertha, you're ready to level. I'm proud of you, Bertha. You've done great. Level this. And this. And probably this. And that. Great! <laughs> Most of your attacks, Bertha. What? Oh, she's full health now. Cool. Probably should have Khalifa do this. But let's see what we need for this. I guess we're going to do this basic bitch one. Novelty and all that. So, let's get you, I guess. Yeah, yeah, Thaddeus likes working with clowns. He is a clown. Ah, 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 ah. But I can just do this. Yay. Is it... Hmm. Okay. Sure. Sure, Bobby. Come one, come all. Yay. The Basic Bitch Circus Show. That's what it should be called. What are you... Oh! Right. Let's auto-assign this one. Was there a rhyme or a reason to this? <laughs> Maybe not. The world will never know. Alright, Khalifa is not doing that, so we will let her rest. We can let her recover her HP. We could also forcefully recover it with a, with a clown, but... Where's the fun in that? Speaking of clown... Sure. Frontline clown has never gone well for me. Why are you saying one, two, and three? Um. You know what? Walker can be in three. Balthazar can be up front where he where he belongs. You know it. I know it. He knows it. Balthazar belongs in position one. It's a sunny day. It's a beautiful day outside. The birds are singing. The flowers are blooming. What do we got? We have some mimes, a bobby, and a bobby. Damn it, bobby.
Do I kill them? Or do I devotion them? These are the questions. Oh, this is an a busker mime. I don't know what the difference is. I don't think they know either. All better, pal. All better, pal. Yes, we're going to buff our team. Trumpet to boost a rule. Which I think means you have 100% devotion. Almost. Almost. Get in the handcuffs. Get in them. You have 10 left. I almost want to get his devotion capped. I could do that with a coal, I suppose. Just to see what happens. Support science. I have no idea what happened. But I have 100% devotion now. Or I did. Yvonne is missing some, which is unfortunate. But she's about to recover a little bit. Assuming she doesn't get too punched. Too punched. Booster rope. This reminds me of the Jester from Dark Ascension 1, when you just like literally do nothing but the song repeatedly. What happened? You have moved out of my range. Do not like. Don't try nothing. Do not like. No, no. Bye! So I, I lost some of my own devotion, but I got devotion back for making him flee. I didn't see how much I got, though. Also can't help but notice that you are being punched really hard. Go in. Two. I think I get two. Okay. Don't it make you smile? Here's a heal. Some joy from the clown. I don't think I can actually hit this guy with the, um... 69. I have to roll the 6... No, okay. <laughs> it's like, I have to roll the 69. No, I don't. Can I hit you with this? I sure cannot. Well, then let's get more devotion. Here, I'm going to poke you with a fire stick. That's going to make you more motivated, right? You're going to become more devoted. That was 69 experience. Nice. Nice. You're going to become more devoted if I poke you with this fire stick, right? That's just the natural response. Um, food might be a problem in the near future. How do I get more of that? Alrighty, we're going to the mid, I suppose. All right, this is the green mission. That I can only really resolve with our friends that are universal. How many of them do I have? I have two. And none of them can work with someone they like. Well, I suppose Walker could do this. Wait, I thought you liked clowns. Or is that that's strong, man? Okay. Where's my other strongman? Right here. It's not strongman. Oh, he hates clowns. Maybe it's not strongman. <laughs> no, strongman. What is this symbol then? I don't know. I don't know. Lots of devotion, though. I do not have a fire person to put in there. Wait, is this clown? No.
Wait a minute. Never mind. I'm crazy. We ought to do that, but... Do I just send this? I think I do. <laughs> Great. How much is six experience? Like, is this even worth it? I don't know. Let's see. Oh, these are the um, components for the... the thing. I kind of want those. Sure, we'll do that way. The greatest way. show in London. The greatest show in London, yeah. Greatest, truly. The greatest show that's about to run out of food. Who needs healing? Someone does. Maria needs healing. There we go. Alrighty. Uh, I probably shouldn't have put Balthazar there for... Well. Double fire thrower. <laughs> this is going to be a good one. We're going to have a good time here, team. This could be great. I'm ready. This is London Bridge falling down. Oh, disappearing. I don't know what I expected. Me neither. As children, we all sang about London Bridge falling down, but vanishing completely? I truly cannot believe my eyes. Whoa. Until I start to think that nothing is wrong with my sight. What? I just have to peer through the looking glass. I just have to go down the rabbit hole. Ah, Alice. To find this twisted wonderland. And its genius ruler and creator. Could he really bend our reality to his will? Or is he just playing tricks with our minds? We will soon find out. What? No, oh, it's a boss fight. Eugene. <laughs> all right. I don't know what I expected. Them, you'll all out amaze them. The amaze meter. Here it is. Effectively using your character skills will fill up your team's amaze meter, unlocking powerful super skills to use against your opponents. Successfully damaging and neutralizing an opponent combined with devotion gain will increase amazement. However, damage and or devotion loss decreases access to super skills. Recharge the amaze meter to use super skills. What a trippy background. All right. <laughs> Brahma, yeah, I know, right? So, Eugene is an illusionist with 240 fucking hit points and 50% motivation. Uh, do you... Uh, are you thinking what I'm thinking? Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Because that's... One, two, three... Three rounds of devotion bombardment and he's gone. I know what I'm thinking. I mean, usually the rule of thumb with bosses is to kill the ads first. That's usually the rule of thumb. But, uh, you know. Oh, you stunned my boy. Oh, you taunted. Uh-oh. Do not... Mm. Okay. We're showing off. Did you just say you don't even work out? Don't lie, bro. I can move forward with the clown. Let's remove buffs, though. I guess I have to kill this guy now. Owie! 
Holy shit, that hurt. I'm really gonna have to use a fat heal for this. Yeah, okay. Do not call for help. You know, this really kind of sucks. This tanks up to twice, right? So your taunt wore off, right? Maybe? I can't tell. I do think I should kill you, though. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna go with that. Just just kill it. Just get rid of it. No. Uh the question is, do I heal? Or do I taunt? I think I taunt. This moves both of my flame walkers back. I'm sorry, what did you just do? Did you just spawn? Another guy. No. <clears throat> I'm about to roll the seventy three percent. It's time we kill this guy. I'm tired of being sawed. I'm tired of the saw. The saw is getting old. Um, heal. No, we boost. We boost. We trumpet. When in doubt, more devotion. That's right. Ow. No, you're fine. You're doing great. Oh, you're not doing so great, though. You're not doing so hot. Okay. The illusionist should be gone now. Uh, this is... Okay, I can only do this from this position, so I have to do this here. And then you can purge this guy. Now you see me? Now you... What? What just happened? Oh. He just didn't break? You just don't do that, bro? Should have made more bandages. Not gonna lie, I do not understand what happened here. I don't like it. I love the poison hammer. Uh, all right, we'll just buff. Hmm. You're not allowed to die. I'd love to punch you. We'll stun him. Or try to. He resisted. Okay, let's get these down. Let's see if this will kill him. Alright. Or is that just because I hit his mirage? No! One of our ladies is gone. Okay, get rid of this. I'm gonna be mad if I just needed to hit him again with the with the the negative thing. Go away. Okay. Not targetable. Of course he's not. I guess I'm just gonna be flame whirling him. This one's fun. No, no. 
No, nope, I don't like this. I don't like this one bit. Go away. What you think? Do the slump. Oh, you don't have the stomp. Motherfucker. In love of you. Uh Science? Okay, the mirror images do break on a hit. Okay. Got it. I have a thing. It's not great. <laughs> to be honest. I'm just gonna hit it. I'm just gonna hit the, the, the guy. Chance to stun? Is that saying 2% chance to stun? I don't know. Resistant. Fire World brings it home. Okay. Uh, we lost one what person. Happened? This isn't the circus mechanique. No, it's not. It's the London Bridge. And why am I bleeding everywhere? Yeah, that's my fault. Attempted murder is such a forgettable action. Murder? Me? Eugene the Magnificent? Excuse me, your name is not Prince Sigvold. The Magnificently brainwashed, somehow. Here, you dropped your control specs. Broke them, too. Without them, this prototype steam illusion enhancer is useless. Or maybe it can help us figure out how you lost control. I know someone who will want to see it. Come back with us. To the Circus Electrique. So we found another circus guy. Ah, poor Khalifa. She died. Recommendation seal. A gold bar to a secret location where your squad can attempt to best the strongest team in the area. Huh. Okay. No! I can't believe it! Performers may leave the circus for two reasons. The devotion value is zero for multiple days. Watch out. The devotion of starving employees decreases every day or two if they die in battle. Yeah. Performers are your most valuable resource. Take care of them. Extra, extra! The bridge is back! The voices for Porter was right there on the scene with the story. Read all about it! Property values plummeting as street violent persists. Popular circus electric performer has died. Was she really popular, though? Was she really? We did lose quite a lot of health. Eugene, a new performer, has joined the Circus Electric. The workshop is unlocked. New circus draft shows available, and illusionist performers may appear to be in the train to be hired. Upgrade your workshop. Ooh, my, my what? This. Then invent a new super skill. super skills are primed to amaze. Invent, develop, and equip super skills at the workshop. Equip invented super skills into one of the three slots of the Amaze Meter, usable once Amazement reaches the required level. The effectiveness of the super skill may vary depending on which slot it is assigned to. Upgrading the building will make all unlocked super skills stronger. We didn't. Hey, look, we can heal or. I see. Well, I want to invent this. Oh, so I got to choose. Well. That'll do. Amazing. Esteem technology always fascinates me as a scientist. There is true genius behind Eli Edwards' products. Yeah, the revivers needed to go. I didn't realize the... Uh, the garden keeper guy could bring in more of itself. Like all steam products, my illusion enhancer only works with steam manufactured control specs. Control specs that were shattered, coincidentally, just as Eugene's trance wore off. If you're suggesting that control specs may be controlling the vicious Amelia, you, you may indeed be onto something. 
Ah. Eli is a lot of undesirable things. Routinely unbathed and smelly among them. But <laughs> he's no criminal. That you know of. I've known the man for 30 years. He'd never hurt anyone. Not intentionally. <laughs> Still, it remains true that every attacker we've come across has been wearing control specs. Who doesn't? They're as ubiquitous as London tap water these days. And probably more drinkable. No one here wears them. And no one here is going vicious. Touché, niece. We'll see what Mr. Edwards has to say about this. We're going to Steam Headquarters. We're going to need the map. The map. The map. Okay. Eugene is an illusionist, and levitation is his circus art. He likes working with ventriloquists and does not like working with escape artists. Loads of amazement. And he has a whole bunch of skills. The saw, this dreaded attack. Chance to move to a random spot. I see. Shuffle. Oh dear, there's lots of text. Shuffles all non-stationary allies and enemies to a random position. Oh. And the shuffle hits enemy devotion and buffs friendly devotion. Interesting. This could be really bad. <laughs> or really good. That's my card. Removes one positive effect and puts it on a random ally. Oh. If no buff is available, removes 4 to 5 health and gives it to an ally. Ooh, I like that. His thing is when Eugene is standing on slot 4, redirects 50% incoming damage to the ally standing on the third slot. Rude bastard. Poof. Switches places with target ally, enters a stance until next turn, 73% chance to move any enemy attacking Eugene to the last slot. Glitter. Oh, we saw this. 53% chance to stun target for one turn. I can't help but notice that, um... This was on my entire team last time. And now it's only on one target. Also decreases his devotion. Electric Hands. Deals damage, boosts suffered damage by 20% for one turn. On the enemy, I hope, and not me. So it looks like he wants to be in the back, mostly. Hmm. Eugene. Well, I asked if I could find a better version of you, but, um... You know, that might be kind of tough. The horror. The horror. A clown astronomy, was that what this was? Mm hmm. Okay, if I put Caesar there. Uh. Maria. Who likes working with a clown? Like Grok. And then I have a blue somewhere. Pablo. Is he my only one? Yvonne. And Yvonne likes working with clowns. Beautiful. It worked out somehow. Some way. Sure. Uh, actually, before I do this... Hold on. Can I make... This? I can. What does this do? Adds complexity. Oh, complexity, you say. Do these... I need more of these. So I have two of these and two of these. Cool. Do I want a Bomba? Sure. What I was going to ask is, do these... It doesn't look like it. Like, it doesn't look like these ingredients are used over here. At least not yet, I suppose. Perhaps eventually. Perhaps eventually. Alright. Back to this. 
Thank you for remembering my team, because I most certainly did not. Yeah, we're going to want... Okay. Can I not add? I guess I can't add more than one? Maybe that's a later thing? Okay, sure. Good enough? Hold on to something. Mm hmm. Hold on to your underwear. Okay, someone else needs to go in the sleeping cart then. Who shall it be? Probably Bertha. Please don't die, Bertha. You're one of the OG, Bertha. I need you to live. Alrighty. New map. Things changed so much just in my lifetime. The city map. The London map shows the explorable districts of the city. Only the current district can be selected unless a time capsule is used to replay a previously finished area. A more thorough exploration of the city might open up previously hidden locations. The previous district's strongest foes seek worthy challenges. Seems unnecessarily risky, if you ask me. Okay. Complete a district to unlock special battles against local champions. Do it for glory and a considerable reward. If you fail to defeat your opponent, you can try again any number of times, but never without a full entry fee. Defeated characters will die in these battles, so make sure you really mean to have them fight for you. There's a fire in your eyes, Amelia. I hope so. One I've not seen since your mother. A fire, Dr. Mabry? That's a particularly poor choice of words considering her fate, don't you think? Oh, I'm sorry, I said. I'm sorry, I... Don't be sorry, Dr. Mabry. But do get me a new map if you have one. I... Uh, of course. Good luck out there. Good luck indeed. So, I do want to do this fight, but I don't think... I'm pretty sure all of my strongest people are either in the show or out and about. Let's see. What are we working with here? So, Eugene, of course, the new guy. Thaddeus is pretty strong. Balthazar is pretty strong. But Maria is working, and Bertha is resting. Eugene, Thaddeus, Balthazar. Hmm... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how strong this is going to be, but I feel like I'm not strong enough. <laughs> However strong it's going to be, I don't think I'm strong enough. Although, with double clown, I also feel like I wouldn't die. <laughs> you know? Hmm. Maybe we try it. Maybe we just YOLO this. Maybe we don't. Maybe we do. By day, this building is used to process livestock for sale at London Meat Market soon after. By night, a whole other type of slaughter comes to this house with the most feared team of combatants earning the title of the Butchers. Ah, uh, terrifying. Hmm. It looks like I kind of want motivation damage a little bit. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait. I'm, I'm scared. All right. I'm gonna wait for that. I'm gonna wait on that one. Just take all my stuff because why not? We'll put Eugene in the back. 
Uh, Balthazar up front. Poor Walker is a little wounded, which I guess means... Uh, hmm. Pablo? Do we want Pablo in here? Sure. We can have Pablo in here. Alrighty. Well, we're in the second area, whatever that means. We're heading over to this place, Steam HQ. The headquarters. And it kind of looks like we have a lot of zigging and zagging to do to get there. Proof of kids tosses coins to payment. Looks fun. Well, yeah, sure does. But before that, we can really take a detour here, can't we? Before that, I am going to take my first break because we're a little over two hours in. So thank you all for joining me. I will be right back with more water and a renewed spirit to carry on. Be right back. Two minutes. Alrighty, I have returned. And I guess we're going to charity. We need all the money we can get, but some people need it even more. Let's help them out. After we are given our first round of plates to serve, we need to ask ourselves a question. Is it possible that we'll get more than we could carry should we ask for more? It's a bit of a guessing game. Should we get more plates than we can carry? Well, the organizer will not be too fond of us. Select one to four performers to take part in the event. Donate the required amount of food. Help with the food distribution. If we work well, the performers gain a great amount of devotion, but if we mess up, we gain nothing. I don't... <sighs> okay. Why... <laughs> This will be a bit of a guessing game. First, we'll ask for some plates. Oh. Well... First, we'll ask for some plates. Will we? <laughs> so, uh, I guess I need to fill this... with this? So we have one, one, three, four, five. And we need three, seven. Okay. Now, if we ask for more plates and get more than we can carry, well, the organizer will not be too fond of us. Okay. I'm trying to, I'm listening to the audio cue. It's changing. God damn it, game. Very okay. risky at this point. Yeah, the yeah, okay. 
<laughs> Everyone in need got something to eat, and we didn't even break a plate while helping out. Feels good. It does. Feels great. Does it? That was a that was described awkwardly, but I got it once we started, you know, faffing around with it. Some new enemies are here. To stupefy. Hello, Eugene. This is a sailor. Who has very low motivation. In fact, everyone's motivation is really low. Shall I attack it? <laughs> hmm. I could steal some life as long as it doesn't go on... Pablo. Or me, I guess. Hmm. I don't really have devotion attacks, which kind of sucks. That's not for you. Feels nice. Good, don't it? I hit that correctly. You do not do a damn thing in position two. Hmm, that's not great. <laughs> well, I can change that, I suppose. The healing power of laughter. We can chain lightning. Oh, hi! Was I supposed to wait? I don't know. I feel like maybe I was. Oh, that does a little bit. Positive state of mind benefits everyone, just as negativity is a detriment. State of mind effect may trigger once a character's devotion reaches a specific high or low value. Having a positive effect yields tremendous power for performers, while negative effects put them in an unfavorable position. Each character may enable only one state of mind effect at a time. However, if the devotion value changes greatly, a positive effect can overwrite an active negative effect, and vice versa. All effects expire once the battle is over. That's because I hit 100%. I see. And... Hands? I don't know. <laughs> I'm just gonna hit as hard as I can. That's all I do know. <laughs> did you live at one? Please tell me you did not live at one. Okay, not quite. <laughs> but I hit you for 39 twice, so... There is that. That's my card! I don't think that hit who I wanted it to. Now, oh, well. Jolly good. Can I take your buff? I'm pretty sure I can do that. In fact, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna do that. 69. I'm gonna take it. Oh. Yeah, hitting the 69 feels good. Hey, anyway, that's mine. That's not for you. Don't it make you smile? That's what you need to bounce his arm. I like how he saluted as he was falling. Hey, Things heal your friend. Good, don't it? Heal your little friends. And Balthazar, our strong man, ah! shall claim a glorious victory. I like your little scooter. Poison and all of these effects are very effective in fog. So much going on lately. U.S. President McKinley vows to move mountains to assist ailing Londoners. Well, that's extremely kind of him. And I'm pretty sure he would not have done that. I don't know anything about President McKinley. Look at that. We got some experience levels up. And I would love to do that. You have leveled up, Yvonne. I am proud of you. I'm just going to auto-sign this. <laughs> I don't know what I'm looking for. I definitely want to... Nope. Yep. Want to upgrade that? Yes. And I suppose... <laughs> sure. Wait. Is this a devotion attack? Oh, it is. Huh. That'd be really good. In time. In due time. Pablo! Level up. 
auto assign the banana. Yeah, sure. This only increases its ch its chance to break stances. Interesting. Pablo, what am I gonna do with you? That, I suppose. <laughs> sure. It'd be great if devotion costs plus two percent. What? That sounds bad. Not like a good thing. Leveling up being a full heal is pretty cute. I'm just gonna auto assign these. I don't. I I, I don't know. Do not know, and I can't say that overly I care. Buff this, buff this, and buff that. Alrighty. This is beeping at me again. Because why? I don't know. Alrighty, let's do one of our lower circus thingies. This one, sure. I want to... Eugene worked out pretty well in that fight. I liked it quite a bit. I want to take on the boss. The, the, the rulers of the district or whatever. Assuming I can do that. So... Didn't I... I did this earlier. <laughs> then we have a, a clown here. Probably a clown that works likes working with fire. Like, oh. No. Hmm. I don't have a clown that likes working with fire. Yes, I do. It's Pablo. Sure. Grant. Marvelous. Small cast, huge cast. It'll be great. Okay. London. Yes, here we go. Here we go. Okay, so Balthazar was good. I want Bertha. Bertha's been with us a long time. And you were okay. Thaddeus, I think, is better, though. Yes, we want Thaddeus. Or Yvonne. Yvonne. But there is a lot of healing we're missing now. I guess Eugene kind of heals. Hmm. I do have bandages. You know what? We have resources. We should use them. <laughs> Here we go. Boss fight. The kings of the district. It's me. It's me. Balthazar Gelt. Wrong game. Alrighty. Yeah. So, we have Suggs, who is a raider. Level 2 raider. Alrighty. A major. Brendan. The seaman, level 2. <laughs> seaman. And the Tomb Raider. Hmm. Your little pickaxe hand is violently vibrating. So I don't want to deal with this. We can do a lot of devotion damage pretty fast. We can get like 27. Wait, I can actually lethal this guy one turn. I think. If I math correctly, which is... Oh, that fucking hurt. Ow. Is there... Oh, you're taunting. Taunting is not good. Because that means... I can't hit you. Hmm. We're going to take advantage. I might need to use La Bomba. La Bomba might need to come in. 
Do I really want to roll this? I don't. I should have known there was going to be a taunt. When this guy's devotion was so low, I, sh I should have known. Come on, Balthazar. Oh. Balthazar. My strong man. I needed you. Uh, taunt. I guess we're going to fire a whirl. Good dodge, good dodge. Mm, what is this? Marking. Okay. We could try the poof. I don't want to ruin things too much, though. Let's deal some HP. From, uh... Uh... This guy. That's not for you. I would like Yvonne to kill the guy, the this guy. Yvonne, kill him. Break him. Beneath your handcuffs. <laughs> 73, 67. Not really worth it. We could contribute to the devotion bombing. We could do that. That is possible. Or I could just continue punching this lady. Which is looking feasible. Soul Collector. That was rude. That did not spark joy. This lady's pretty close to death, and I think I'm gonna try and kill her. She should be dead next turn, I think. No one does that to me. And that was quite rude. Ow! Nah. Nah, bro. Punch? Ooh, it has to be it has to be a max roll to kill her. Ooh, no, yeah. We're just gonna move on. These are for you! Move on, shall we? So he's at... Thir he literally has one devotion. Oh my goodness. Of you. Kill her. One devotion after my attack, of course. I, I was calculating. Oh, I can't even hit him. Okay. Well... I really like this attack. You just buffed the crap out of yourself. And I don't like that. Don't like that at all. Don't try nothing. Also can't help but notice that uh, the saw did way more damage when it was hitting me. You know? Can I break this somehow? I don't think so. I need my soul. It's very rude of you. I can try and break it with this way, I guess. Ow. That's my card. Man. Can I kill you? No. But I know who can. And that's Balthazar and Gelt. I don't know if that joke's ever going to get old. He ran away. The Craven Dog. You found an impressive gadget. Open a character sheet to take a closer look and equip it. Go. Oh. So the owner gains more experience, increases its owner's crit chance by 10%, increases owner precision by 20%, Balthazar. 75% chance to ignore target's defense while attacking. Hmm. Large game bird of the moorlands with a distinctive red marking above its eye, also known as black, black cocks and gray hens. Oh yeah. Story's so gray it makes me wish I could read. <laughs> 
Harry Houdini challenges Eugene the Magnificent to a magic off once this is all over. Harry Houdini, huh? I guess he was actually alive during this time. Pure cod liver oil. Have a cough? Don't blame the cold. Don't blame the rain. Don't blame the smoke. Just have a sip from Henry's Emulsion three times every day for instant relief and protection from any known disease. <sighs> Some things haven't changed, have they? Collectibles is unlocked. A list of stamps collected and individual performers hired by the circus can be found in this building. What? Oh. There's a lot of them. Legends. No one. Hmm. Okay. Balthazar. Equip gadgets to grant their owner useful bonuses, but beware, when their owners die or leave the circus, these items will be lost. However, dismissed characters automatically return the items they hold. Precision. What was my other one? More experience, increased crit chance, and chance to ignore defense. Um... Uh, Bertha? Would you like more experience? I do like you. What is this? Thaddeus is kind of our best clown, isn't he? Well, sort of. Oh, it's Walker. Walker's our best clown. Alright, you can have something. Like... Uh... 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 <laughs> You can have the book! There you go. That's what that's what you can have. And you can have the telescope. I don't know who needs crit. Technically anyone can use crit. Anyone at all. You know Balthazar? I'll probably find another thing for you. Caesar can have crit, sure. It said when I just miss them, I get it back, right? Because, um, our roster's looking a little problematic. I wish you would heal faster. Alrighty, let's do some novelty here. I almost wish you could, like, auto this. Can you? You can! You can. But what has the game done to auto this? Why has it come to this reason, this conclusion? What is going on? I guess I don't have a green. So game is like, eh. I instantly made it better. With all clowns. Good job, game. I'm so proud of you. I made it a little better. I don't think I can make it any better than this, though. I think most of this devotion is coming from, um... Even with this negative, it's still okay. Ah. That's just how good Caesar is, I guess. Sure. I mean, Balthazar needs to heal. Why not? 
Let's brute force it, shall we? Give me resources. I can't use the spotlight. Or experience. No, no, resources. No, both. Both. Both sounds good. The London City Circus. Yep. How it all began. How it all began. It'll be great. Fantastic. Marvelous. Let's move on. Anything I can do here with the artisans? I don't think so. We're really just desperately waiting for circus level three. That's pretty much it. And that is pretty much the situation. Let's give some experience to Grok. Grok's fallen behind. He's the OG clown, you know? There's nothing wrong with a, the occasional relaxing diversion. It's hard to believe a traveling operation like this, fun fair, can do well in the current environment, but we're glad it can. We have time to try out one thing. Shall we bond with one another during a pleasant carousel ride for devotion, or hone our skills with the carnival game? Inexperience. I don't know how much 30 experiences, but I think it's a lot. It was enough to level them. Just good enough for me. Oh, look, her she has golden boots. Why do I think that changed? Um, I'm auto. Wonderful. Hmm. Oh yeah, you don't have the devotion attack. Oh. Oh. I, uh... Yeah, I, I killed the one that did. Auto, yeah, don't care. Wow, they really stabilized that. Uh, the ball throw, the heal, and the snake. Alright. Are we going to take the long way around? What is this? Aunt Phyllis never fails to entertain. Sure, we'll just go all the way around. Why not? That's just the thing about the defending action. Focus. Focus. I wish I could do any devotion damage. Doe Puncher. Okay. Oh, I can do some devotion damage. I could two-turn this guy. Or, I could sit down to the fire trap. Which sounds a little more fun. We did devotion damage. Optimist? No. I became powerful. Punch. Wahaha! <laughs> the double trap. Ow! Mother f what? Who needs words? How rude. How rude. I need to heal. I need to heal. And increase your devotion. Bibbidi bobbidi. Get off my property. Here, heal your friends. Heal him. Mend his wounds and his saddle. He did applaud me, yeah. That reminds me of the attack from, um... What was it? Yeah, sure. Assassination classroom. Ow! I just healed that, you bastard. 
I just healed. I'm more of my motivation. I'm really, really getting the most out of this fight. Yep, sure. Cool. I inked that one. I inked out all the value I could get from that fight. Just look at this headline. This little headline. 69. Okay, I was stretching for that one. Okay, food is a problem. Yet still and again. What do you do? You absolutely shit the bed on this. Good talk. I think it's because they are not using anybody who is um, in the group. Gonna make me think again. Anyone want a clown over here? Yeah. Good. Uh, and then Yvonne. Yay, look at that. Wow, that's really good. <laughs> it's beautiful, in fact. Wow. Marvelous. Hold on to something. Yep. I'll hold on to something. You, perhaps. Alright, Balthazar, go heal. Uh, what kind of fucking team does Ellie was with? Uh... A team. We're left with a team. What a team is it? Which one are you, Bertha? Okay. Oh, dearie me. Okay, so you... You want to be up front. Okay. And then you can be positioned to... Or Pablo. What a clown team. Stop clowning around. <laughs> oh, we got three spotlights, really? Some battles have special circumstances that may change some gameplay conditions or rules. It's a crowd. No. Oh. And level three people. Oh, dear. You do realize that I don't know what this team is, right? Devotion decreasing and devotion increasing effects are 25% more effective. Does not apply to the devotion cost incurred when using some skills. Mental skills have a minus 30% chance to apply their effect. Amazement charges faster. Okay. Sure. Speaking of amazement, what is our... conditions surround us, I know we can win. Certain battles are fought under special conditions, like in the darkness of night or in rainy weather. These conditions, shown as a small icon on the Clash node, affect the battle by strengthening some skill types and weakening others, or introducing special rules. Details can be found at the conditions icon tool tips. Feeling lost? A little bit. But I'll get over it. I think, I think Bertha's the only one who does do motivation damage in this, damage in this team. Uh, actually, no, you can, can you throw a ball? I think you can. If you can, this guy dies. If you can't, he lives. No, oh, I hate rats. Oh, wait. I suppose I could also shuffle. He has exactly four left. I could do that. It's possible. All right, sure, let's do it. <laughs> How do I do this? Move. All better, pal. 
Cool. This really got uh, a little out of hand here. You were supposed to be dead. Hmm. You need to go away. I belong back here. You do. You belong very far away. I'm gonna take That's this. Not for you. Give me that. Healing power of laughter. Okay, so I have a hundred percent devotion. That's cool and all. I guess I'm gonna start throwing it at you. <laughs> Feels good, don't it? I guess I'm gonna knock you away. What am I doing here? Go away. That did make it so I can't hit this guy, though, with devotion. Yeah, I really screwed the pooch on this one, I think. Although I don't understand why... There's a trap here. I don't like that. Gimme. That's not for you! You need to get up front, bro. Now. All right. Punch. Good miss. I might need to cleanse something. Oh dear. <laughs> Can't cleanse myself, unfortunately. I should just do this. <laughs> See? No. And yet, here I tried to play around That's with the shuffling. Oh, I just taught myself. I think I did. Go away. The healing power of laughter. Get slapped. I think I'd like these two to switch places, actually, because I want to be able to pure purging flame. By fire, be purged. Bye, Felicia. No. Alrighty. He's taunted. Okay. Don't it make you smile? Bonk! I wonder how this works now. Yep, I can only target him. Hmm. You know what? Let's trumpet ourselves. Let's let's get a little motivation going. Some wonderful devotion. Because it's apparently it's needed. He's down to twenty percent. Twenty percent. Gimme is what I would say if you were targetable, but you're not. I'm all better, pal. We are all better. Life is better. Except I can only use this attack. <laughs> it's almost dead. I'm probably gonna set it on fire, like I do everything else. You just autoed. Okay, that's fine. Yeah! Yep. Firewall. <laughs> Who could have seen that coming? Firewall's good. I do need to find a way to give devotion to you. If I find a way, I mean it, I need to swap here. Bunk. Was that seven damage? Is there a reason why my clowns aren't doing any damage? Skill upgrader too. Let me guess. That's used to upgrade level two skills. Extra, extra! Voice exclusive! How that Yank Eloy Edwards realized his American dream in London! Read all about it! Read all about it! 
Level three. Now it's 2,500. Just casually increasing. It has a three on it. Who could have seen this coming? Not me. And then there were three. Three marvelous pillars of power. I've not seen you this excited in ages, Ollie. Such unbridled enthusiasm. Very inspiring. Inspiring? Yes. Yes, I suppose it is. Very motivational. Like a poster. <laughs> new building and skill upgrades are available. New show draft. New show draft. First things first. Give me this. And refresh a room. I have a feeling we should let go a few of our team members. Uh, especially when this is a... Hello! Yes, please, thank you, give me. Um, I want this. I need this. This is mine. This is unimportant. This is mine. Who do we let go, though? Probably Maria. Actually, what, um, what attack do you have? Yeah, I'll let go of Maria. Because she's another purely aggressive one. Maria, you've served me well. Farewell. Probably gonna let go of Pablo as well. Pablo has done okay. Just okay. I do like that he is friendly with fire blowers, but, um... I think we're gonna have to go, Pablo. I have too many freaking. <laughs> I have too many clowns. What if it's Thaddeus that goes? No, no, no. Thaddeus has a great passive. So we're gonna let go, of Pablo. Goodbye, Pablo. Alrighty. Greetings, Flamma. Welcome to the team. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> I refreshed. No, I didn't buy it. Shit. Well. Are you the ex You're the same. You are literally Eugene, but with the spells in a different order. I'm gonna re-roll it. Damn it. I loved that passive so much. I don't need more fucking clouds. In spot one, gain immunity to taunt effects. No, I'm good. I'm good. Oh, what's this? The secret link. Target receives 50% of the damage Loftus would receive, but Loftus' devotion is incorrect. Ah. The Apparition. Oh, this is the, the AoE slap. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Oh, I'm going to be standing here looking for something for a while, aren't I? I think I am. Hestia. Ooh. This is amazing. And you have two, you have the two main, three main skills. All right, Hestia, you're just gonna have to be good enough. And I think she is good enough. What else do I want? Honestly, another you would be pretty good. Or... <laughs> Eh. 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 One more reroll. One more. Has any devotion decreasing effects on Therese? Not bad. That's only in position three, though. Which is worth noting. 
But she has the handcuffs. And the lock throw. Okay, sure. There we go. We have another one of these. Hestia. Look at that. She has green fire. Upgrade, upgrade, upgrade. Therese. Beautiful. You've done swell, Therese. She likes working with a robot bear. Five has a chance to ignore target's defense while attacking. Who would like to ignore defense? I guess you can. Hestia. Why not? Alright. Upgrade. I can now finally rest two people. I can also buy more people. I didn't have to dismiss people. Increases all allies. Devotion each turn. Wow. Um... How do we do this? How much damage is this? I think we'll do... No, switch these. Yeah. We'll do the devotion at one. So I can spam this out frequently. We'll do the damage at two. So if I need fat damage, we'll do that. And I have the huge full health heal at level three. I feel like that needs to be changed, but we'll get around to it. Timothy. I'm back here again. Oh, I don't think I can afford to be back here again. Georgie. Victor. Alright, we're gonna we're gonna hold off on more recruits. Can I make something? I need more of these. I don't know where I get those, so we'll hold off. And we will embark once more into the Great Yonder. I am, however, going to change the team. Uh, so get these guys out of here. New events! Right. Oh, I have to unlock them. Now. Oh. Well, let's unlock this one first, I guess. Alright, how do, would you do this? Hestia has a negative, and it's illusionist. Game, did you even think about this for longer than 10 seconds? I don't think you did. Okay, hold, okay, go away, stop. <laughs> I'll think about this. Jeez, game. Alrighty. Mike's working with clowns. You like working with fire. And we're the strong man. I don't have any greens. There. Ah, this doesn't matter. Oh, it does matter. <laughs> Seven stars. That's not bad. That's not bad, methinks. Oh, I can use two of these, too. My last one. That's experience. There we go. Look at that. It's beautiful. I suppose. Good afternoon. So is the auto fill just like literally yeeting people into it? It's like, hey, here's people you have on your roster. Let's just throw them in and see what happens, shall we? Go heal to full. Everyone else is good, right? I'm not going to give you nine health for six food. That is not a trade. Okie dokie. So, let's... Oh, I can't use Hestia. Hmm. Okay, I want you in spot four. Uh, 
Can I use my locks in two? I can. What a beautiful team. Thaddeus isn't here. But is Thaddeus truly necessary? I don't know. You actually want to be in position three. Okay, sure. Why not? I'm greeted by Charlie Einhorn, senior editor for a weekly news magazine called The Brit. He's doing exactly what we are, trying to figure out what the hell is going on. He says he's convinced further clues lie in the building we're standing next to, but he fears going in alone. Alrighty, so we... That's a question mark. The illuminated voice gets the story, not the Brit. Uh, this gives experience and motivation, I think. So we'll join you, Charlie, but you and I share the byline for the Brit. Not bad at all. Charlie agrees and says that he admires me quite a bit, that it's an honor to work with me. Such a flatterer. The kind words overshadow the fact that his lead leads to absolutely nothing. Well, I got mo I got a lot of motivation out of that. Okay, I'm satisfied. Well, well, well. If it isn't my sister's husband's sister, I forget. What does that make us exactly? Something's in law, I'm sure. My sister's husband's sister. Ha. Huh. Husband's sister. I don't know. <laughs> I'm just here for business with my niece, Randy. Leave. <laughs> <laughs> Our niece is currently on her way to... On her way to greet her favorite writer for The Voice. Hello, Aunt Phyllis. <laughs> writer? All I do is publish your stories, Amy. Maybe add some fluff, like Randy's stupid circus results. <laughs> All of it prize-worthy journalism, dear something-in-law. Well, I may be under some actual <laughs> prize-worthy journalism once I speak with Eli Edwards. Oh? Reminds me, I finally bought my first steam product from his company. But the damn control specs are broken. It's useless. Probably for the best. I'll be sure to relay your dissatisfaction to Mr. Edwards. Probably for the best, it yeah. Maybe the kindest thing I have to say to him. Hmm. So is that just some more backstory? Backstory is good. It's nighttime. I probably should have read what that does. Alas. We're off into the great void. Beautiful Bertha. Uh, it's somewhere. Beware of the Bobbery meter in night battles. If you fight for too long, the night patrol will arrive. Does that mean more experience? <laughs> Fire damage increased by 25%. Critical hits have a 5% chance in the first and second positions. Characters have a 25% chance to enter stealth at the end of their turn in the third and fourth positions. And attacking skills make noise reaching bobbery will result in reinforcements. Well. 125% chance to ignore the target's defense. Let's just uh, set the world on fire, shall we? I did kind of forget that I was doing devotion stuff with this. <laughs> already. I already forgot. Like, seriously? It's done. Damn it. The healing power of laughter. Don't you dare. Am I just gonna bomb? I'm just gonna bomb this guy to death. Okay. Good chat. Balthazar? Okay, I deserve that. Don't you... Mm, she can't be moved, that's right. I knew that. Balthazar, my man. Break him. Good, good, Anakin. Well, for better or worse... Uh, well... Move you into more fire. Tears of a clown. <laughs> Did you say he just said tears of a clown, didn't he? Yeah, he did. I also kind of just realized 
These are for you. The Teresa's not very effective against first position targets. Hmm. Well, it is what it is. The wall. No, no, no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No. Flame World. Round and round she goes. I thought you would ignite again. Knocking you, knocking. You defended me? Okay, admittedly, I still don't quite understand how that works. How about that follow through? How about it? Bah. Who would have thought? Having loads of devotion is really good. I never would have seen that coming. Never. Extra, extra. Steam's control spec sure ain't all that cracked up to be. Read all about it. Wait, what? Oh, yeah, I kicked them out. <laughs> like, what do you mean people quit? People did not quit. They got fired. Fired. Evicted. To be honest, they didn't have to be. But they were. And that's just how it is. My money situation could use some more work, but that's okay. All right. Um, math. What is this? Is this illusionist? I think it is. Hmm. Hestia likes working with strong men. I technically don't need, you know, to double this. As long as I feel, uh, technically, as long as I feel just one of these, we should be good to go. What do you do again? Like that. As long as I do that, we should be fine. And then you like working with clowns. And yet here I am trying to min-max this still. <laughs> um, Balthazar can go there. There's no negative synergy. But there's no synergy. Which is good enough for me. So my only Flamer synergy is here, and that's a 7. You are actually making the roll, though. Fantastic. 8 stars. 8 stars! I'm proud of this one. I can double up on it. I probably shouldn't. I do need money. We're kind of low on that. I really shouldn't double this, but I'm going to. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. We'll just make more. You never forget this. We can make more, right? Yeah, look at that. We can make plenty more. I need these for something. For this. Nah, this is more important. I need more tools. How do I get more tools? Anyone wounded? Not that's available. Okay. I'm moving on. Hestia, off you go. And Caesar joins the team. Good enough. Uh, shall we go around town? That's a lot of comp. What is this? More charity stuff. Um, it's actually one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh. We do have some level threes with us. Let's go with the circus enthusiasts. Is the best choice to please the audience this time. I don't know. 
Fives and zeros, huh? All right, Thaddeus. It literally doesn't matter what I do. We've won. This is a GG. We got five. We won. But do we think we can do it again? Of course we can. That's how gambling works. <laughs> okay, so we have three negative fives. Okay. Caesar can just win. Actually, if we're going to do it this way, Hestia can just win. You're serious. We won. All right, we're, we're, think we can do it again? we're taking our experience. I wanted the experience. I could have gone again. But no, 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 no. You have to know when to quit while you're ahead. That's important. I'm clicking any key to continue. Thank you. Thank you, video game. Novice sweeper, apprentice sweeper, seaman, huh, and sergeant. Am I going to make that joke every time? I don't know yet. It is foggy. Oh, it's smog, excuse me. There's a difference. We're in Beijing all of a sudden. Health is decreased by 6 at the end of each turn for all characters. Oh dear. Poison damage increased by 25%. Range attacks have minus 30% damage. Damage over time damage is increased by 25%. Smoke skills have a 30% chance to apply their effect, and characters cannot attack from the fourth position. Do what? Smarts! Hmm. Well... Do you have the... Can I do any motivation damage? I think I can. Such puny wrists on this one. I think? Oh, I healed myself. Wow. Uh... Hey, Caesar, you have the stomp, right? Motherfucker. <laughs> okay. Friendly fire. I'm just going to motivate our friends <laughs> with the fire stick. I should have read the details of the combat. On that. All right, let's AOE. That's AOE. <gasps> can I heal myself? I can. And I should. Because I'm going to keep doing damage to myself, so. Wow, oh, one tap. Well done, Caesar. I can see you're learning from Balthazar. You're learning well. This might burn a bit. I'm gonna keep burning you. I'm gonna burn you so good. Ow. <sighs> if only I could attack. What? Right. Did I deal five on a crit? Are we allowed to talk about this yet? <laughs> Everyone but Caesar is doing less than desirable damage. Here's some motivation for you. I'm gonna brand you with a fire poker. Ow. Go away. Ow. You must be healed. Amazing. Oh, I have max, um, max things. Uh, so I can fat heal. I think I'm at a fat heal team. Because I'm taking loads of damage. I do this to myself. I cannot. Hurts in a good way. Hurts in a good way. Alright. Fat heal time. <laughs> I don't know what I expected from a name like that, to be honest, but...
maybe... Gotcha. Yeah, he won't be able to attack. There we go. Beautiful. And because he can't attack, we can smack him up. Continue being motivated. The fire poking will continue until the motivation is complete. Alright, well, smog is annoying. But we worked it out. We worked out the smog. Someone should tell Bilbo. Much going on lately. Crowd cheers as circus performers pummel the vicious. Attendees love last night's circus electric still picking their jaws up from the floor. We got some rubber. Look at that. Rubber was quite the material back in the day, you know. Lots of levels, too. It looks like the game's really starting to pick up. Which is good. I don't know what to do, so just auto this. 20 amazement. Great. What is this? Huh. I need food to upgrade this. I need more food to upgrade this. Eh. Uh, while I still have the tools, we should upgrade that. Now I can make snake oil, which does what? Boost dodge, boost protection, and makes target unable to attack for one turn. Uh, okay. Goo removes all positive effects. And electric lights adds one entertainment star and one complexity star. No, it does both. I should have saved my screws. Well, lesson learned. Auto this. I don't give a shit. Upgrade this. Upgrade this. And upgrade that. Great. I don't know what that is, but I need a lot of that, apparently. Nah, I'm good. We upgraded the important things. Right, Balthazar? Absolutely correct, Balthazar. Alrighty. We have one more that we need to unlock. Which I guess we'll do. Illusionist or clown... Escape Artist or Pyro? That actually works out pretty well. Because I can put a clown up here. Like you. Uh, can't... Oh. Hmm. Not having a purple kind of sucks. Eugene could be up here as well, but he doesn't have any... I have no synergies with Illusionists. This will probably just have to do. It's both of my escape artists, which kind of sucks, but... Meh. What if it's... You? No. Okay. Okie dokie. Give me experience. Give me loot. And one of those. Sure. There. <laughs> Do you believe in magic? You will. Will I? Sometimes I wonder. Can I heal anybody? Nope. Alright, good talk. We stole our escape artists. So let's bring in Eugene. I'm sure he won't mind being in this position. Or Bertha. Let's do double fire thrower again. That's always fun. What could go wrong? We can't believe our eyes when we see an airship crash down before us, right here. Its markings are identified as the Manrigal, an infamous air vessel that famously pursued the legendary Hidden Treasure Island a few years ago. 
Hmm, we can survey the wreckage, but not go inside, which is a fight. Let us enter through a hole in the starboard side, which is a... Uh... Something. Let's go to Captain Rowney's quarters, which is a treasure. Or let us move on, which is some sort of motivation. I would assume motivation loss. Uh... Let's go to the qu captain's quarters. The right choice. There he is. No one is going to believe we're face to face with the infamous Rowney, captain of the Man Ragoth. Lucky for us, he is very, very dead. We grab some shillings and leave. He's not going to need them anymore. Great. 22 shillings to be exact. Also, I would like to swap these two positions because I want Bertha to spam the motivation increase on Hestia. And it is a sunny day, a beautiful day, a marvelous day. Hestia... okay. Bertha. Yes, fantastic. Alrighty. So the plan is we're going to use the double fire uh, circles to murder the... like, absolutely destroy the center group. Although I could just... Oh, the desire to motivation break them is so high. I can make him go away instantly. I could do it. Relief. That was plus 3%. Look at that. Okay, so about the fire circle. Owie. But that doesn't change the plan. The plan is to ultimately get down to one person and then just start spamming de Devotion Plus on the character. Shall I stun you? No. No, I shall not. Extrovert. Not sure what that is because I am not one of those. That is not the damage value you, you said. Stupefy! No, thank you. I'm getting a little tired of these rat tramps. Burn, baby, burn. Disco Inferno! Straight to the dome. Okay. I need to, uh... Motivate a lot. Ow. Sure. Power of it's done. The Perfect. Perfect. I need more motivation. Let me farm my motivation in peace. Does that attack ever hit? You're stunned, that's cool. Motivate yourself. Caesar. Stunned again. Aw, oh, resisted. Ya bitch. Motivation. Here it comes. Sometimes I feel like that attack just does not hit anything. Ow! That hurt a lot. All right, I can't heal in this position. I really shouldn't let her live another turn. I, I thought about it. She went flying. There were some rag dolls on that that slap there. All right, we farmed some motivation for Hestia. Mission success. What a day for news. Elsewhere in UK, 13-year-old A.E.J. Collins achieves highest ever cricket score in Bristol. Great. I'm sure everyone in Bristol is happy. Why are you... Oh. 
cost six devotion. Bro, why? I do want to upgrade this. Caesar has leveled up. Just auto this, I don't care. I care not. Uh, Thaddeus, you go first. Hmm. We definitely want the heal. We probably want the trumpet. Two trumpets, probably. We'll take one snot. We'll take the hammer. Double hammer. Okay. Then you. The punch. The stun. Good. 40% chance to stun. 50-50 next level. Uh, we can do a show-off. Two show-offs? Two show-offs. Why not? We don't need to upgrade that. It's not important. That's important yet. Alrighty, I think that was all of them? Yes, they're all unlocked now. How are they sorted? <laughs> not sure. Can I make this? I cannot. What are you yelling at? All oh, right. We probably should let Yvonne rest up. Probably. I also should probably pick up another guy. And or lady. And it'd be great if it was a... Is it a green one I'm missing? Why can't I see it from here? I probably have to go into here to check. Yeah, I don't have a single green. It'd be great if it was a green and a useful character. Is there such a miraculous happenstance? I wonder. I'm beginning to think not. <laughs> Is Sal? Teleportation. He likes being with strong men. Glitter, shuffle, electric hands, the apparition. Huh. What a weird... He doesn't have the card thing, though. I like the card. Oh, this is good for me. Alright, Alyosha. You literally exist for events. I hope you don't feel too bad about that. <laughs> Add more gadgets? Increases the owner's resistance against debuffs. Uh, Balthazar, you know what? You can have that. Yeah, sure. Okay. The matinee. The illusionist. Or... Our illusionist is a that... Yvonne, I know you're resting, but I kind of need you to do this. Then I need a clown. I don't need a clown. I would like a clown. Devotion isn't the highest here, and that's because Eugene and Alyosha are being absolute bastards. Seven. Seven. Ever so slightly different. Hmm. We'll let Eugene go in. It's not that big of a difference. Except, I don't have enough laughter. Ah. Did not see this coming.
Still don't even with this. Where's my other clown? Thaddeus? Nope. Hmm. Well, this is awkward. <laughs> I'm three off. Can't really do anything about this, honestly. Like, Yvonne is the problem, I think. Which sucks, because she's perfect in this role. Oh. I guess we have to put Thaddeus up here. To make this happen. Ugh, this sucks. Well... It sucks, but it is what it is. It be what it be. Is that good? Actually, no, this gives us screws. One screw. One. I need the experience, too. On everything. I need everything experience. I'll take the one screw, damn it. Good afternoon. Okay. This is what I get for YOLOing the um <laughs> the circus upgrades. Alrighty, I guess we can have Eugene. Um Guess we can have Alyosha? Bro, I brought you to be... <laughs> Feels bad. This guy actually has ranged attacks. <laughs> what about you? Handcuffs. Release, recharge, annoy. Yvonne's like the melee one. I guess we just bring Grok. Give me Balthazar. He's cooler. Uh. How does this work? Oh. Okay, cool. <laughs> it's another nighttime thing. That should be fine, though. I really like the nighttime encounters so far. Definitely better than smog. Alrighty. So we're not going to be playing around with uh, motivation much. So I'm just going to start dropping the base. By which I mean the rings of fire. <laughs> no. I'm gonna borrow that. That's not for you. Don't it make you smile? Does it? I don't know. Oh, I can do devotion stuff with Grok here. Well. You know what? I might as well. Oh, I moved him. I'm spreading the ignition love. Uh, this is a 97% chance hit. A 99% chance hit on Spinebreaker? What did I roll? Because whatever it is, I want to do it again. No, but you need to get the hell out of here. Rock. Well. You need to leave. Like now. 
I wish I could check what Grok can do here. I need him to throw his water balloon, which I don't think he can do here. Now you see me? Now you still do. Now you still do. Okay, can do this in main position. Good to know. Alright, fuck you. Just a little Lived it one. Lived it one. One. Oh my god, that did 12 damage. Well, my illusionist is dead. <laughs> okay. I did not expect that to do 12. I think he was dead anyway, but... Rip. Rip a Rooney. I normally like keeping boss, like, characters that you get. Queen Victoria and her royal family evacuate England to unknown location. Grok leveled up. That's cute. Amy, did you happen to notice the new tent we erected? Nope. I heard noises coming from it. I assume it's some sort of practice tent. Precisely. Except, instead of practicing trapeze acts, it's a place to engage with the intricacies of mortal combat. Oh, come on. I like the illusionist. <laughs> I can probably buy another one, maybe. What, and you're not charging admission to the public? Whoa! Now there's an idea. <laughs> the practice tent. Before the vicious inflict massive pain upon you, try it with a friend. Train available performers at the practice tent. Assigned characters gain experience in their random circus act attribute may increase at higher building levels. Training prevents participation in other activities which negatively affect character's devotion. What? That last part I just can't say I got. So, this basically, from my understanding, exists to help keep everyone up to level because there's way too many character slots. I yellowed that again. Didn't I say I wouldn't do that anymore? I don't think I said that. Who was this? Rock. I want that. I want that a lot. <laughs> okay, let's see. Hey, look, there's one. Clarence. Immunity against root effects. That's not very helpful. Also, this is not a very great roll of abilities. What about now? Milton. Oh, this could be good. Glitter. This is the slap, the card thing, the saw? Alright, there we go. Milton. <laughs> we have an illusionist again. I like this card thing. And also he has a slap. Is it worth this thing? To yeah, sure, whatever. There we go. That's what I wanted. I wanted to make those better. But I need more whatever that green stuff is. Uh, hold on. Un momento. Make me... And hi, Grath here. <laughs> Did I say hi already? Hi again. All right, here we go. Big brain. Big brain. Moment. Do I even want to see what the AI is going to do? Uh... Actually not terrible. Yeah. 
except... Uh... Hmm. Oh, you don't like clowns. <laughs> Is there a way I can make this better? Hmm. Actually, I don't really think so. I don't actually have a... I guess Therese is a blue. She has zero synergies, though. I don't have enough of this. Hmm. Hmm. Have enough now. This is mildly upsetting, but I think I just have to accept that as my reality. And move on. I think that's where we're sitting, team. Okay. Can I get a full? Ah, oh, almost. Almost a full juice. This is so many resources, though. <laughs> I better get something good during you our next expedition. What you see, folks. Oh, hey. Alright, this expedition is going to have to be good, team. Because we are low on stuff. Milton. You're going to need to put in a lot of work, Milton. I hope you understand that. You'll do fine. I'm sure. Probably. Oh, wait. Hold on. While you're here. Therese. And Walker, I guess. Sure. Have fun. Doing things. <laughs> Alright, back to the resource part. I need, I need, I need bandages. Okay, well, let's not get in too much trouble. Shall we, team? <laughs> Who's the best choice to please the audience this time? We want 12 of the bowling ball face. So... I guess we'll take Bertha here. Hold on. So according to the rules, it's never the same one twice, right? So I should take Balthazar and just YOLO this. We won. But and then, we can do it again. Yes. Yes. As long as I don't hit negative here, we're fine. What is this? Ooh. All I have to do is not hit negative. That's it, Grok. No negative. No negativo. <laughs> okay. Here we go. I'm trying to stop it, like, right about here. We won. But do we think we can do it again? Beautiful. Uh, what's the next one? It doesn't tell me. <laughs> Do I want to try for the... I don't know, I like 32 experience. That's a lot of experience, team. We're gonna go one more. We're gonna hit it again. Oh, it's six happiness. What? Oh, it's 17 to... Oh. I won! <laughs> we did it, team! 
I got an achievement. Fan service. This isn't the fan service I know. Beautiful. B E A beautiful. Uh, I'm. I still have no bandages, but I'm sure that'll be fine. Oh look, it's lore time. I ordered that damn monkey months ago. How is it not here yet? It's a monkey. <laughs> is this a bad time for an interview, Uncle? Would have been the perfect time to talk about my new monkey had certain deliveries been made on time. <laughs> Your old associate, Eli Edwards. Your old associate, Eli Edwards. Tell me more about him. As I've mentioned, he never did take Barnum's favoring of me very well. Once the circus was through, so was he. With me. I went back to America to start anew. He somehow became a mechanical genius and applied his knowledge to found the most successful company in the world. How does someone somehow do that? You had to have seen that coming to some degree. You don't just become a master of mechanics in a matter of months. The truth is, Amy, he was there at the Circus Electrique the whole time. For years. But I don't know that I actually ever saw him there. What? I saw him every day, of course. Yet I didn't see him. You see? No. No, I don't. How has your view of Mr. Edwards changed since the Circus Electrique closed ten years ago? I can't say we've talked much. I can't say we've talked at all, to be honest. When steam rose to prominence so quickly, it definitely took me off guard. But it was opening his own circus mechanique that really caught my attention. Oh, that's the... That's where the illusionist that we stole, beat down, and then killed came from. Why? That's when I realized how much he really wanted my job, leading the Circus Electrique. The whole time, that must have been all he ever desired. A man brilliant enough to single-handedly open the world's biggest business. And it took founding a successful corporation to finally achieve his dream of becoming a ringmaster. Huh. Part of you must admire Mr. Edward's success after founding the Circus Mechanique. I'm bloody proud of the bloke. But still, I do take his choice of naming oddly personally. <laughs> How so? You don't see an alarmingly similar naming convention between his Circus Mechanique and my Circus Electrique. Well, his show does focus on steam-based mechanics, whereas yours favors electricity. Wow. Beautiful naming senses here. But neither one of us is French. <laughs> I chose Electrique because I thought it sounded exotic. But he chose Mechanique to say, Hey, Randy, look at me. I can do this without you. Which, to be fair, he can. <laughs> Which, to be fair, so, he can. Mr. Edwards was jealous towards you, went years wanting your job as ringmaster at the Circus Electrique, and then eventually resorted to opening his own once his steam corporation made him instantly rich. Any final words about him? Just that, yes... I see him now. I've not been around him in years, but for the first time, I really see him now. You see? That made complete sense. Absolute sense. Components. Hey, look, we got eight screws. Uh, got a gadget too. And 12 of those bottle thingies. So that's important. We need that for stuff. Bandages and other stuff. I'm losing my fire inside. What? You have 95% devotion? Or is it because of this? Devotion is decreased by 3%. Oh dear. At the end of each turn for all characters. Electric damage is increased. Water damage is increased. Fire damage is decreased by 50%. Slippery terrain increases move chance by 50% in addition by 1%. Oh, okay. Uh, so basically... That's 50% less damage. Gee, evidently. Um, I can do a lot of devotion damage still. I think. So can she. What is being buffed by this exactly? Hey, what if I do this? I need to get him, um... The damage ignore thing. Also need to increase his devotion. 
No, no, this is not allowed. 93%, fuck you. Feeling extinguished. He really did get fucked. No, it's in a good way. The um The illusionist here is not particularly kind to my method of uh motivation increase. He doesn't seem to enjoy being ignited. I really can't understand why not. You know? This this lady's gonna have two percent motivation left. Zoink. Two. Yeah. Do you have the stomp? Oh, you do. There you go. Fix that problem. You'll be fine. Yeah. <laughs> Hey. That's not for you. Give a little healing. Just a little healing. I'd really like to finish this soon. Hey, if I have temporary motivation or devotion, do you think that eats out of that first? Which will protect yeah. my actual devotion. I wonder. <laughs> Bye. I kind of don't think so, but I can't help but feel curious. You know? Feeling so great. You're doing just fine, my friend. Bonk. Increases the owner's resistance against smoke effects by 33%. I hope I can sell those or something. Part two of the Ringmaster interview. Flat. Ow. Assign performers gain 60 experience and lose 3% devotion. Oh. I mean, it, it does what I wanted it to. <laughs> Just none too pleased about it. Grok, thank you for the leveling up. Walker, level up. Take this, I don't care. I mean, I do care, but I don't care. You know? Sure. What's this take? Yeah, do that. Alyosha. No, Milton. Yes. Good enough. This YOLO shuffle is so sketch. Okay, before I spend these somewhere else, I need that. I don't have the glass lens. What? Oh. It's just the sleeping cart reminding me that it exists and I remember. Okay. Illusionist Orange is what Eugene was. Game is just kindly reminding me hey, remember that guy you killed? Do you remember that? I remember that. And I can't help but think that he would have done swell here. I actually filled this bar all the way. That's impressive. The devotion's a bit lacking, but this is cute. What is this getting me? Eh, I don't give a shit. This is more important. We have 269 shilling. And I'll get one bottle. <laughs> one little bottle. Don't trust them. Perfect chemistry. Yeah, we did great. Alright, I think we can let Yvonne sleep now. Or. Or, even better. <laughs> Yvonne can go level up. Even better. Um, how do 
I know who I'm going to bring. Okay. Let's let Thaddeus get some more experience, too. There you go, Thaddeus. Thaddeus is a happy boy. We can ruin that. Put this down here. Perfect. Onward, team, to great glory. Oh, wow. Okay. Fantastic. I still need money, but... I'm still in need of money. That hasn't changed at all. Oh, mother... Naya. Why did that do nine damage? The healing power of laughter. It's smog, so I can't do anything on the back. But that's okay. Probably okay. Here, catch. I think I can one tap that. Oh no! It moved him. Now I can't one tap him. No one does that to me. <sighs> wow, these guys have hella motivation. Electric. Electric. Get it. Cheers. Yeah. You bastard. I am going to one tap you. Good talk. Good chat. Bertha is bold. I'm proud of you, Bertha. But, um. I crit my friends. Sorry about that. I'm gonna go ahead and heal Balthazar instead of whatever we were doing. Oh god, no, no, stop, stop, don't do it. Don't do anything. Go away. <laughs> uh, who needs motivation? You can get some back. I can't say I appreciate how you are, um... Continuously doing a sizable amount of damage, Bertha. A respectable amount of damage, even. Get crushed. Bye! <laughs> That's hilarious. That's fantastic, Balthazar. I think it's because I gave him the 20% uh, precision item. I'm pretty sure I broke it. The good way of breaking it. Level 4. Boom shakalaka. I was way up there. How was I supposed to see that ahead of time? You can't even see it on the screen. And now we have four. Let's put up some more. Singing? I've never heard you sing in my life, Dr. Mabry. Nor have I. But thank you, Ollie. I do not say those words nearly enough. And that's the first time this year. <laughs> it warms my heart, truly. You can tell those two are good friends. All right, new building and skill upgrades are available. We're level friggin' four. And we don't have any of the resources required to get these upgrades. But that's okay. Because the door is open. What is this? Game? Uh, we want to upgrade this. Most definitely this. And sure, why not? That as well. Okay. Alrighty. And now she's full health again. Look at that. It was like magic. Like magic because it wasn't quite magic. <laughs> Uh, Therese is probably going in there. She took a lot of damage during that fight. Fucking smog, thanks. Uh, there's a new one! That has a really high requirement. And a lot of people- Snake Charmer! Uh, so we probably need an escape artist in here. And we just so happen to have one that does everything. Okay. 
so I would like a clown with you, if possible. Uh, you're green, but I don't... There's no benefit here. It's just there. Hmm... Hestia could go here, if we need to. Wait a minute, what? Brain? If I put you here, and I put a clown here, that's double dipping. A little bit. Uh, I mean, Teresa can go here for the opening acts. Oh, I'm four short of this. Really? Uh, do I have a universal character that can do this? Thaddeus? There we go. Alright. Cutting it close. <laughs> Give me all the experience. What is this? Oh. Ah. That's a, quite a lot of experience, too. Hmm. Look at all that experience. But look at all this experience. And I need way more of this experience than I do of that experience. Although... That's spread through a lot of characters. Okay, sure. The Sparks will fly! The Sparks will fly. We leveled up anyway and don't have a good way to make... to capitalize upon it. Uh, so I guess Therese can sleep. Finally. Which means we have Grok, Balthazar, Hestia... <laughs> uh, Therese... I kinda need you. I guess Alyosha can be here. He has both the... He has the boomerang and this, the weight throw. Okay. I guess we can do that. That'll work. But we are four hours. It's already been four hours. Can you believe it? Which means it's time for my second and final break. So thank you all for joining me this lovely morning, whatever it is now. It's really dark outside. <laughs> I will be back in three-ish minutes after stretching and grabbing yet another water. I almost finished this one. I'll be right back. And uh, we will carry on. Hopefully we can finish off this act and, you know, claim the crown. We're actually near the end. Oh, we're a lot closer than I thought. Claim the crown of this district, and we'll move on. If you are enjoying the stream, or the VOD in the future, feel free to like, as it does help out the channel. And I'll be back for more killing!
I have returned for the home stretch, blood for the blood god, and all that. Oh, we're starting off with gambling. I do love gambling. The audience this time. I don't know. Hmm. Minus 16. Don't hit that and you're good to go. So. Uh, I think I'm just going to throw in Balthazar. Maybe Grok. Maybe Alyosha. Maybe Grok. Do it, Grok. Motherfucker. <gasps> We won. <laughs> hey. we can do it again. I tried to click it on the red thing. Uh, it almost hit it. Uh, we're doing it again, of course. The goal is six of that. And... <laughs> I could put in Hestia. We're going to put in Alyosha. Because with Alyosha, it doesn't matter what I do. I could fuck this up all day. We and won. of course. But do we think we can do it again? Crease of the owner's distance against devotion loss. Oh, that sounds really good. Uh, but we're just gonna take our our experience. I don't know if you've noticed the trend here, but I like experience. <laughs> experience is good. Okay. Okay. Fighting illusionist again. Have we fought an illusionist? What brings you out here to the streets, Uncle? Since the boss fight? Talent, unlike any our circus has seen before. I like talent. That means new characters. A man who swallows swords instead of breakfast. Oh. A man who forsakes a cushioned mattress for a bed of nails. You are violently shaking. A man who heals wounds like I heal boredom. No idea what you'd call him. Fakir. What? Watch your language, hey. <laughs> and here is exactly where we want to be. You might not be saying that after he throws those nails at you. Duck! Fakir. Is that that guy? It is the Fakir. <laughs> we have our... We might actually use this. The clap -o -matic. Hmm. Hmm. What? Oh. 17%. Unfortunately, we don't have a whole lot of devotion stuff. So, like, if I'm going to use this, it'll be to buff him. So, instead, let's just do our typical murder plan. Hmm. I like the murder plan. All better, pal. All better, pal. Yep, all better. All the better for me to murder you with. How unbecoming. We'll make you with me. No, mother. That's not good. <laughs> Chance to hit a random target. Okay. Smart. Yeah. That's gonna hurt. Anyway. Shall I demonstrate who the better strongman is? All in the race. It's me. I don't even work out. Oh, he's showing off now. Put down the other so ring of fire. To me. Better than a bandage. No. The healing power of laughter. Of laughter. Um. Is you are you still ignited, or did you get rid of that? I feel like he got rid of it, and that's exceptionally rude. I also don't know what to do. I could have pummeled this guy if he didn't heal. So I guess I'm gonna pummel him again. Seems that hurt. That's not for you. You didn't take my buff, did you? That's the stuff. I would like to take your buff. I would like your buff. Bunk. This 20% chance seems to be really low. I don't know if that's just me. No. Alright, it's time to motivate recover. 
I'm gonna farm this a little bit if I can. Yeah, you're gonna heal. I'm gonna heal. We're all gonna heal. We're all gonna have a great time. Just you and me and my motivation. Show me real pain. I do have the fat heal ready. The fat heal's ready to go. Hmm. About the Zargelt, would you like to show off? I definitely need to keep buffing Alyosha. It's not very often you get a crowd, you know? <laughs> Just keep cycling. Someone wants to play. Just keep well. Cycling. Yes. I think Balthazar's almost at 100 again. Birth as an optimist. I'm going to optimistically brand you with a fire poker. Again. I think he just sacrificed some of his motivation to heal. Oh, yeah. You're doing great. I'm proud of you. So proud of you, Alyosha. A hundred percent proud. <laughs> Bye. Did you just go into that little machine? What just happened there? Uh... I am actually a little concerned right now for my safety. No one does that to me. You were supposed to get stunned. Uh oh. Oh, perfect. Not perfect. Why can I not attack you? Because you don't. Okay. Good luck. I knew that was gonna hurt. Well, that's fine. Look at the devotion farm. Take what you want, you brigands. Brigands? His name is Sanjay. I had a doctor named Sanjay when Sir, I was younger. We mean you no harm. Nor will we take anything from you this day. Besides, all you seem to have is nails and half-eaten swords. I didn't see any swords in that fight, did you? These days, I just assume everyone is out to get me. Uh, please forgive my unwarranted aggression. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. No forgiveness necessary. I'd have attacked me too. <laughs> in fact, how would you like to join the Circus Electrique? Wonderful! Uh, what is a Circus Electrique? I don't know. A circus? There's multi-day circus shows? Extra, extra. More talent for the circus Ringmaster has no idea what a fakir is. Show's interest in one anyway. Yep, that sounds about right. His birth at level 4. New performer has joined Circus Electrique. The training ground is unlocked. Fakir performers may appear in the train to be recruited. Training grounds lets you try out team formations, characters, and skills against enemy opponents without any stakes. Oh. Okay, great. Do I want to keep YOLOing this? Probably. Okay. Upgrade this. Upgrade this. Upgrade this. Upgrade this. Perfect! Okay. <laughs> Sanjay, what's up, bro? So he is a blowpipe. From any position, he can attack any position. Deals some poison damage and slightly decreases devotion. I like it. He likes. He also works with uh, fire blows. Cool. Absorb. Uh. Enters his stance until next turn. Takes over forty-five percent of any damage dealt against allies. Uh, you're not that defensive, bro. You know that, right? And this is only in the first position? 
First three positions. Deal damage to himself. A lot of it. Ah, oh, 17. 100% chance to stun target for one turn. Sanjay's devotion decreases. Uh, uh, receive damage increases Sanjay's devotion. Oh. Interesting. <laughs> Sacrifice. He has to be in two or three. Deals 15 damage to himself. Heals 10 health to all allies. Sanchez's devotion increases by decreases by by five percent. Feel the pain. Third or fourth. Enter his stance until next turn. Sanjay is healed 55% of all damage the target ally receives from the enemy. Okay, and restoration. Heal 25% health. Move Sanjay back two slots. What a weird character. So... He can't move forward, right? Hmm. Hmm. So this means as long as he's not in the, th the fourth position, <laughs> the Flame Eater doing her brand attack will actually not only restore his his uh, motivation excuse me, his devotion by restoring devotion but it will also restore devotion because it's dealing damage to him. That is interesting. I need more of these. Ha. Huh. I don't think I'm gonna like the fuck here, but um, saying it's fun. <laughs> That's for sure. Did I get another show? No. Uh, we'll go here. Why not? The opening act. A... This lady. And then a something, something, something. Something, something... Dark side. Something, something... Complete. Can I make this better? I don't think I can make this better. This combo right here is so good. And I think I'm just gonna manipulate that. I think that's just what I'm gonna do. Except for this. Motherfucker. Ah, uh, okay. I don't know what the fuck here... Is that it? That's it. Then, can I... Nice. Okay. Good enough. What are what resources are we getting? Wire, herbs, distilled water, screw, and of course money. We kind of need money, team. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. I put the fuck here in there. Wait, what? <laughs> That's fine. Whatever. <laughs> yeah, sure. Whatever I did, I did. <laughs> that makes sense, doesn't it? Alrighty. Bertha. Level 4 Bertha, by the way. Uh, and I guess Milton. Maybe Yvonne. I'm a big fan of Yvonne. Alright, so we can train Milton, I guess. We'll get that experience, boy. That is as well. They'll lose motivation, but that's fine. They'll get over it. Caesar's not doing anything. Hmm. Maybe Caesar should be... 
Eh, you'll be fine. Balthazar, lead us to glory. This should be fun. We simply slide our coin when it's our turn and try to land where values are highest. On the line gives us the higher score, and coins can also be moved through slides on later turns. First of us to win three rounds wins it all. Okay, the loser of the coin flip goes first. Slide your coin toward the targeted area. After both players have tossed their coins, the scores for the rounds are calculated. Each coin takes the value of the highest value area it touches. The player with the biggest point value score is a point. So this is like uh, darts, basically. Uh, but uh, but 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 yep, that's what it said. Uh, I'm gonna go tails. I won. Oh wait, I don't want to win. Okay, so I am controlling. Holy shit. I did it! Going tails again. So I'm assuming you don't actually want to go... ...too crazy, because then can't you, like... Fuck you. <laughs> That's what I thought. Ooh. I win! A victory! Now a decision. Do we take our prize from the boys or just leave it for them to gain goodwill towards the circus? Increases the maximum owner. It's only common. We'll take the circus fan. Not that I really need to level up when I can't even buy all of my current level ups, but that's okay. I'm sure an abundance of experience will only be helpful. It's a beautiful day, a sunny day. A bright day. Oh, two of these bastards. Why do you have so much motivation? I actually think I can just kill this sailor in one go. I'm gonna try. Optimist. The healing power of laughter. Water ball. Zoink. And then Ivan just taps him. Uh, can you reach him from there? Miss Yvonne? I don't like these debuffs. I cannot. I can. Bye. Felicia. Alrighty. Dighty. Get punched, bruh. Because you bitches have way too much motivation. Way too much motivation. Although if I can deal with you somehow, that'd be great. Oh, I moved him back. No one does that to me. Leave me alone. It hurts. No. Bye. Bye. <laughs> It actually worked out really well. I, uh... I didn't do any farming, which I probably should have for Yvonne, but, eh. I don't always need to farm. So much going on lately. American banker J.P. Morgan seeks to overtake Eli Edwards' wealth. Spoiler alert, he does! I mean... I think Eli Edwards is purely a fictional character, but, uh... J.P. Morgan certainly was not. And he most certainly took over everyone's wealth. He's half the reason we even have uh, monopoly laws. You know, not that they enforce those. They pretend to. Oh, I have more gadgets. Um, experience. Oh, shit, I have a lot. Damage reduction... Owner's fate daily food cost reduced. Uh, would you like experience? 
Who do I give damage reduction to? Probably a clown that taunts. Do any of my clowns actually taunt, though? Hey, Caesar. Have some damage reduction. Hey, Yvonne. For whatever reason, Yvonne... Um... Sure, whatever. Probably should give it to her, honestly. You all have arrows over your head. Is there a reason? Oh. I have enough of those, finally. Um... Loving for the train lets me hire better peeper. peeper. <laughs> but I can't do that if I don't have the space to begin with. So we'll just let that go for now. I have a little bit of health. Not a lot of health. Make those. What do we do? Probably this one. Isn't this one that's really hard for me to make? Yeah, motherfucker. Okay. Caesar go there. By the way, I... My brain's hurting. <laughs> I went to, uh, um... A, uh, an adult beverage store. <laughs> a liquor store. For the first time in, I don't even know how long, literal ages. And... Oh, I wanted... Mm -hmm. That sucks. And they were playing... Like, the, the music overhead was freaking... The it was called TikTok Radio. TikTok Radio. I was very unhappy. Also, I don't like this placement. <laughs> but I'm working it out and slowly while being angry. <laughs> what? Even just remembering this is upsetting me. Can I? make this better? Not really? No. No sir, Rebob. I'll use one of these, sure, why not? That's not a whole lot of experience. Okay. Don't forget to buy some popcorn! Some popcorn! Oh, we're going to the boss fight. Oh, we're going to the boss fight. Yeah, we're going to the boss fight. Bertha. Yvonne, who is very hurt. Thaddeus. Welcome back. Um, I probably should bring someone else. Sanjay, what do you do again? <laughs> you heal people. Would you like to be healed? Uh. Sanjay is healed. So the person he's taking the damage for is not healed? Sanjay is healed. Okay. These are all level one. It's acting like he has to be in first place for this, and I don't like that at all. I feel like this isn't the time to experiment. <laughs> Maybe Milton? Maybe just the uh, second clown. What do you do? You have this. Uh. Mm. 
Maybe not. I guess I could bring Alyosha. Still not great, though. Let's bring the Illusionist. I'm sure I won't kill him this time. <laughs> no, we'll bring Yvonne. We'll bring Yvonne. I'm definitely probably going to kill somebody, though. Someone is definitely dying. And I can only hope it's not that bad. Here we go. I kind of feel like I should make the goo. Oh, this isn't the boss fight. Oh. It's not the boss fight. There's one more. Do you have some more of your thing to do? It's true. Hey, Morgan. The darkest circus? <laughs> yeah. The darkest circus, because I can't freaking put together these bonuses. What's this? The we orange won. is using its mental effects. But do we think we can do it again? Yeah. Barely. Uh, just don't hit a negative. Don't hit a negative. So we're going to stop right now. Nailed it. We won. But do we think we can do it again? No. <laughs> Not really. Leveled up Thaddeus. Let's go. Uh, I don't know. Just do whatever. Level up this. Level up this. Mm. Retaliates moving enemies. I have still never made this work. It's never gone off. And I'm still mildly upset about that. Devotion costs? What? No. Uh, so if this isn't the boss fight, then now is in fact the time for experimentation. No. Actually, we can let both of them rest up. And we'll bring Sanjay with us. I don't. I still don't know what slot to put you in, but... Like, maybe three is okay? We'll just rip it. And I probably should save my super skill as well. Alrighty. 30%... I kind of just want to put down the fire trap and move on. Which I might do. Time for no experiments. That exists? Sometimes. Sometimes. You don't move backwards with that, do you? No. Oh yeah, that's an interesting synergy. You might die. You might also live at like two, and that's kind of annoying. Hmm. No. Fucking rude. Bitch. Yeah, so if Sanjay is spamming the stun, the clown is healing him. <laughs> Which is kind of funny. What are we doing? I guess Sanjay's killing this is what we're doing. Sure. Delicious. Delicious. Ooh. <laughs> All right, Ian Wrench. Most would say that hurt. Most would say that hurt. Probably because it does. Okay. Heal. 
yourself. Ah, pretty well. Alright. Well. Not too bad. I still don't quite understand him, but... I... He's an easy stun, which is pretty cool. The enemy can't kill you if they're stuns. That's, that's pretty neat. I liked it. But what just happened? We just had a little jig. Ugh. You'd think eventually I remember how I set this up. Sanjay. You like working with the fire thrower. That's cool. You're a fire thrower. But you need to be here. Each is strong word. Because he want you here. I'm like liter I've literally brute forced this. It's the wrong opener, but it's gonna work anyway because of all the synergies. Good. <laughs> Brute force it, Milton. Proud of you. I still feel like I need money. Oh, those are glass lenses. I need those too. I could do this. That's so beautiful. Fucking expensive, but beautiful. Your knight just got electrified. Okie dokie. I have none of these left. I'm going through tools like you wouldn't believe. So why don't you stop spending them one leveling people up? I don't know. I'd require thinking about this. Therese? I think Yvonne's better here than Therese, actually. She has the lock throw, the chain grab, and the handcuffs, whereas Therese just has the handcuffs and the lock throw. But she also has this. Nah. 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 What's the deal with the lion? The lion is the... How would you explain? It's not you, but it's the character through whom the story is being told. It's her pet. Her mother's pet. And her mother's dead, so it's her pet now. And so he's just kind of there to reassure us, I guess. Alright, it's time for a boss fight. Uh, I don't know how this is going to go, but um, I'm sure it'll be fine. I have my split hybrid team, which... I'm doing for some reason. I've known Mr. Edwards all my life, but with one look at Steam Headquarters, I wonder if I ever knew him at all. Closed gates. Protection from the vicious? Or from curious reporters? Or lions. I ask for an interview. Mr. Edwards is not available. I state my name. After a decade, it's nice to feel welcome. Even if it is only to sate his curiosity. You've come a long way since your circus management days, Mr. Edwards. Or has he? Not even Uncle wears his ringmaster attire off circus grounds. False pleasantries lead to a factory tour. Mr. Edwards seems bored by these everyday gadgets, almost as bored as me. Until we enter his personal realm, the Circus Mechanique production line. He rambles excitedly, offers the voice the exclusive reveal of Thane, the biggest Circus Mechanique attraction since Arachnus the Scorpion. Like I give a damn. <laughs> I ask him about the control specs, their connection to the maddening. Huge surprise. He delays, but there's no way out of this for him. Unless, of course, there is. <laughs> a 
is no way out. Unless, of course, there is. And somehow Palp Palpatine returns. Oh, wow. Okay. So we're targeting his body parts. Uh, motivation is a thing. Just not much of a thing. So we're gonna go ahead and guess that this is gonna be cute. I don't know what Yvonne's gonna do. Stationary, that's fine. In fact, thank you. Being stationary will be very helpful. I mean, she can hit everything. That's pretty cute. Look out below. Defended. Bibbidi bobbidi, get off my property! You didn't like that. Uh oh. That looks bad. Another one. Oh, the fire pit went away. Uh. Please no. Please no. good, don't it? Please no. Uh. Punch. Punch. Stunned the arm. Cool. Bibbidi oh, did that hit your head? It did. Did you just heal for full? No, 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 no. No, no. No, no, no. No. Ow. I don't know. I don't even know what's happening. Uh, did I just auto taunt? I think I did. There you go. Healing power of laughter. This has two hit points left. Uh, let's try and stun the face, which I can't. Let's try and stun this thing. This looks bad. To your face. I resisted. Bop. That looks bad. Continues to look bad. Tingles, A lot of defenses. Don't like that. Uh, duh. Break the face. Face is broken. It hurts. Do not kill Bertha! Do not kill Bertha. Bertha is my girl. Stop. Stop being a dick. So these aren't moving forward, I can't help but notice. Oh, I stunned it. Oh. Let's, <laughs> let's use one of these. Can I even hit this? <laughs> I know what I know. I don't think I can. Heavy, ain't it? Is this my only way of hitting it? Hold on. I guess technically this hits it too. Here you are, love. It's charging. That sounds bad. I'm gonna taunt. Okay. Yeah, that was pretty painful. Ironically, my gift to you all. Sanjay would have done really well against that. Ironically. No, Bertha. No. I need to hit this thing, motherfucker. 
Also, I can't heal in this spot now. <laughs> Bertha! No! I've seen people dodge interviews before, Mr. Edwards, but you... A technical malfunction, Amelia. Nothing more. I am every bit as in debt to your companions as you are. I thank you all. Bring back Bertha. You owe me an interview, and soon. I never agree to such a thing. Then agree to it now. Feisty, just like your mother. That's the line. <laughs> and Leonidas does always make a convincing argument. Can you make it to our press event at the Waterloo Docks on the 21st? I promise a long, personal, and exclusive sit-down after the event is over. I'm not sure what a promise from you is worth, Mr. Edwards. But yes, we'll see you there. Bertha! My oldest companion. Mega <laughs> lion engaged. The lion tamer. You were almost right. <sighs> Bertha. Bertha was perfect. Amy, your account of what happened at Steam is most troubling. What is wrong with your face? Agreed. The mechanical lion. That's something the circus electric just cannot compete with at the moment. That's not the problem. Oh, please go say those words to your staff. It ripped to shreds. <laughs> Poor Bertha. Oh, I'm just trying to lighten the mood, ladies and lions. You know it's how I deal with things. All too well. Mr. Edwards is up to something, and I have to see what it is. Surely you don't believe Eli sicked his metal kitty on you on purpose? No, I do. Maybe, maybe not. But like you said, he's surely up to something. And I'm only going to know for sure by attending his press event. Yeah. Hestia, you have, you have very large shoes to fill, my dear. Very large shoes. Alrighty, so we want to level up Fire Ring, Fire Throw. Oh, you don't have. Oh, you don't have this. Oh, dear God. And that. She's missing the, the single target attack. Uh, you also leveled up. Well done, Milton. Proud of you. Uh, this. The, the slap? The this? I actually don't know. <sighs> Read the train. Find me. My new Bertha. I don't have a whole lot of funds to do this. Uh. Huh. Who are you? Oh, it's a new character. <laughs> okay, um... I should probably pick up the new character. There are a few of them here. Anyone standing on the target slot receives 10 damage for two turns. Okay. Enters a stance until next turn. Anyone attacking Hamida faces retaliation. Can I somehow put taunt on somebody? Decreases devotion by 14%. But she also suffers heavy devotion losses. Increases AoE devotion by 6%. Oh, moves her back. Oh, this is such... What a weird character. <laughs> when Hamilda is standing on slot 2 or 3, she is immune to poison. I don't understand what's happening. <laughs> huh. Fifty percent chance to force target to attack another. I like this. Hmm. 
<laughs> snakes, yeah, it's a snake charmer. But I don't... What I don't understand is how the hell she does anything. So, this is a huge devotion attack, but she also suffers greatly for casting it. But she can replenish her own devotion, I think is the idea. Put her together with a fire thrower and... <laughs> fire thrower, my Bertha. <laughs> uh, what are your other attacks? You have one. Boost devotion by 15% for three turns. Eh. Reflects 33% of all incoming damage for one turn. Reflect? Huh. This guy is like pure support. How is she at the sword attack? This sword attack is amazing. We're gonna do a refresh here. What is this? Don't care. Lafayette's. I like your name. Boom, boom. Eh. Who are you? Hmm. If I had a way to put Taunt on her, I feel like this would be pretty cute. As it is, I'm just going to continue refreshing. Yes? No! Technically, she has the most important ability. She has the Fire Throw, Purging Fire, and she can Whip. She doesn't have the... The thing. The... The Floor Attack, which is amazing. But I feel like if I am continue being as picky as I am, I'm going to have a hard time. Or this attack. God, that attack is so good. You don't have purging, though. <laughs> 79 recruitment. Alright, we'll do it. This is Alfred. How are you doing? What are you up to? <laughs> to create morale and destroy it? Basically, yeah. I'm not going to spend too much longer here. <gasps> it's the trifecta. Yolanda. She has it. The fire whirl, the fire throw, the fire ring, the purging fire. This is all the abilities you need. She's only level two, though. I can fix that, technically. <laughs> technically, I can fix that. What about you? Oh, hold on. You have the Shocking Aura, Meditation, Sacrifice, Feel the Pain, and Sword Swallow. You are aggressive as hell. I feel like I should buy one of these snake characters. But I just don't understand... <laughs> All right, we're go I'm going to pick this one up. We're going to buy Aisha. I'm also going to buy Yolanda. And I'm going to put Yolanda in here. Uh, I can't because I have zero of these. But Yolanda is here, okay? Oh, I look at Bisa. Bisa looks amazing. I love the green fire. Speaking of green fire, I need to upgrade loads of this stuff. Why don't you have anything upgraded? Okay, you did. Alright. We can also use this as a way to get experience. Is this not a great way? What? Oh. I should have upgraded that. Well, since I didn't. 
Snake Charmer. Unfortunately. Uh, Snake Charmer or you. You can be that, I guess. Maybe. <laughs> I have too many greens, I think. I don't have anyone that benefits from a key artist. Estia? Oh, you've been from being a key artist. There we go. Do, do, do. I somehow make this better. <laughs> that makes me meet the requirement. I lose a star, but I think I just go. Ah, oh, fuck. This should be replaced then. Oh, you don't work well with Fakir. But the whole reason you were there was because of. God damn it. <laughs> Who did I have here? Where's my other one? This list is already too small and it's about it's gonna get even smaller. <laughs> Still missing three here. You don't work well with snake charmers. What does the game think? The game thinks this. Why does the game think this? Wait, this isn't even... Game. What? Game! There we go. Game. What are you doing? The game has gone insane. I just get that part right. <laughs> I probably need the multiplier from this. Ugh. So, key artist probably. Who's right here? That actually works out well if you just swap them. Seven's good enough. My inventory is too small. I need more tools! Was this the one I was doing? I think it was. Okay. Why? Wait, what? Are these just rare materials? What's going on here?
There are five people involved here, so experience is probably better. But I wanted whatever. Let the magic begin. Okay. Yeah. My brain already hurts. I need to make sure I can get more of these stupid tools. And here you have it, Amelia. A uh, map of the West End. Hey, Super Blue. To think, the Waterloo docks have only been there four years. Remarkable, really. An entirely new docking area built for steam exclusively. It's funny. I don't remember you admiring Eli so much when we all worked together at Electrique. I, I don't admire Eli much at all. Just his product. The newest of which your map will help us see. Come, Leo. Alrighty. Wait. I don't have a thingy. So because I didn't 100% this. But I can't re-enter this yet. I missed a collectible. What is a collectible? Oh no! Well. Okay. I guess we'll just start this. We're heading over here. Cool. Aisha. I am very concerned about what you do, Aisha. I do like that, though. I like that as well. And I might like this, depending on how crazy it gets. Okay. My fire thrower legion. We can bring Thaddeus with us, because we can just full, full heal him right here. Balthazar can also get a heal. This team looks familiar. We can try Aisha. And I'll probably just bring Bisa for safety. Uh, you can do stuff, right? Yeah, it's whip and purging fire. And this. Okay. Not great, but not bad. I should just bring Yolanda. She's level two, but she'll she'll she'll, she'll get experience, right? In fact, I bet I have gadgets for you. Who has the experience one? You don't need this. In fact, you don't need this either. Can I double equip this? Yes. Yes. Fantastic. <laughs> we can rest here and heal. That was the idea. Oh, sweet health. Okay, how do I jig this map the best? Uh, by going outside. Maybe? Yes? Yeah, okay. Use movement actions to fix your positioning when you fuck up! Okay. So, I'm pretty sure that with our snake charmer lady... I'm gonna do this. I'm going to insert fear into the hearts of men. See? <laughs> I do have to deal with her devotion, though. In fact, what if I just do this? <laughs> I forgot. This could have saved Bertha. Maybe. I'm not sure. I'm not entirely sure. Now, it should be worth noting... Fuck you. That her devotion attack becomes dramatically worse. Ah, resistant. Becomes dramatically worse whenever. 
I can't, um, whenever there's only one person back here. Like, when the fourth person is gone. But, um, you know, that's fine, I guess. We'll find other things to do. Probably. Feels like a waste to strong arm him. Or spine break him. I kind of want to <laughs> boost her motivation again. Poke her with the fire stick again. She'll get over it. She'll get over it. Bonk. I wonder if I can stack traps. In some games you can, and in some games you can't. Also, what happens if you... This moves me backwards. I don't want to do that right now. I guess we should try and find out. <laughs> I guess what happens if you... Um... Science. Oh, you can stack traps. I like it. Unfortunately. Oh. Okay. What happens if you mind control somebody and there's no other enemy? Does he just do nothing? So much going on lately. New aspirin drug proves effective against UK headaches, but not the maddening. Ah, the wonders of aspirin. Yvonne is dying. <laughs> Poor Yvonne. I actually really like Yvonne. I feel like I didn't give her enough credit. That's a 25% devotion reduction for one turn, of course. Probably should buff her. Do her buff as well. Oh. Come on. You have the buff. I feel like this auto assign is going to screw me over in, in the near future. But hey. Until then. You're doing great. You are also doing great. You're perfect. Uh, what was I going to do? I was going to buy something. Crap. Was it here? Yes. No. Here. There we go. The Dangerous Beast. It's a two-day act. Oh, God. <laughs> so, our Fakir can't go here. I should probably make sure I can... Uh, I, like, full craft then before this. There are so many multipliers here. What is Aisha? That's... Ugh. These aren't lining up at all. Hmm. Probably not a good idea to put Yolanda in here. She is not going to be a force multiplier for this. So if we... Oh dear. <laughs> is this where I want to put Hestia? Maybe. Hestia... 
Teresa. Alyosha. Is this enough? Not quite. I need a multiplier here. Which means it's time for a clown boy. Like that. Still not enough? Oh, come on, game. I'm so close. I need three more of whatever this is. Uh, I need my other clown, probably. Yeah, my other clown. There we go. Nine stars. It's almost capped. Almost. It's not going to get better than this. Let's make sure I have all my crafted crafts. I should probably upgrade this too eventually. <laughs> Dangerous beasts. Here we go. I don't think I need this many. I have so many stars. Yep. Perfect. Fully juiced. Not majorly juiced, but fully juiced. Yes. We defy it. A flawless presentation. I don't know if that's the word I would use, but sure. Yolanda, go get experience. Uh, someone was hurt. Yeah, Aisha was hurt. But do I care? I feel like she'll be okay. She'll be okay. She'll be fine. Uh, so I'm going to make another potion. Should I bring Sanjay out? <laughs> Sanjay and Aisha together. Together forever. Doing God knows what. You know what? Sure. Uh, can you... Okay, so you can't sword swallow from four. And you can't do most of your stuff from... Where are you? can always leave. You both like to leave like that. Okay, sure. What about you, Mr. Walker? What if we... You... Wait, what? You, you... And then where's Bisa? There we go. That'll do. Let's play it a little safe. I would like to make this. Good. I still have plenty of this to make use of stuff. Grok, you are so close to leveling Grok. In fact, we should bring you in over what's his face? This guy. Yeah. Let's go, Grok. You're the OG. Alongside the one and only Balthazar Gelt. <laughs> it's definitely not Balthazar Gelt. Alright, I don't know what's going to happen here, but I'm sure it's going to be great. We see a crying child sitting alone on the side of the road. We look around, but no one is nearby. We befriend him. His name is Peter, and he's lost. He says his father is a mime. We have had very bad luck with mimes lately. That's true. Okay. So. We don't need to find your father, Peter. But do tell us where your home is and we'll get you there. Experience and treasure. Where's the mime school for experience and treasure? We don't have time to help you, Peter, but perhaps that friendly officer can. That's a fight. Hmm. All right, we don't have time, or we don't need to find your father. Not bad at all. 
Peter's instructions confuse us, and he can barely move from exhaustion. We stop several times to ask questions and relax. After several hours of wandering, we run into a worried-looking woman. Mum, yells Peter, thankfully. She offers us a reward. We leave as soon as we can, hoping to not run into the, her husband, the mime. Experience. ba da ba ba da ba ba uh, I'm just, just do it. You're doing so terribly. Yay, devotion increase, decrease. That is a hell of a devotion boost. Taunt, heal, heal. Thank you, slap, slap. Great. Oh, hey, Kidavets. <laughs> YouTube decided not to notify you. Who's it the happens. Best choice to please the audience this time? It happens. That's a high number. Uh, I can only hit this number. <laughs> wow. If I hit this 15 with anybody. So, <laughs> Sanjay, go hit the 15. I'm listening. I'm thinking. We're adjusting. We're feeling it out. And we're thinking right about here. Oh, way, way with, way with. I got a collectible. <laughs> okay. That was rare. Usually I could just do it. <laughs> you bitch about it, and now the notification comes in. Isn't that how it always is? It's raining! Damn it. Uh, I don't have Aisha this time. Hmm. Oh, your motivation is hella low, Biza. We're going to have to work on that. You're going to do no damage. Um, so I might as well try and solo that guy. Tears He's going to stun you. Oh, don't you do like sick? Oh, that should be fine. I don't know if I needed to sink to heal there. I might have needed to. Oh, we're good. Why did you counter? Huh. Bump. Bump. Beautiful. Not so beautiful. Oh no. Oh no. Hmm, yeah, you guys have pretty high devotion. I don't like that. An unfamiliar feeling, this. Hmm. Does this heal you as well? I don't think so. Now oh, I'm stunned. Or rooted. A little bit of a difference. Get owned. No, I'm trying to avoid this. I'm losing my fire inside. Yeah, I know. There. I'm helping you out. I believe this is... Doubt. Doubt. Is that what this is? <laughs> I feel it so great. You'll be fine. 
We'll all be fine. Yeah. Go away. No SOS. No rage either, honestly. Ow. Yeah, I know. You're upset. You know what? We could use one of these. I made plenty of them. Should I be here? Should you be here? Maybe? Bro, I don't know. Should any of us be here? Nice and heavy. So the rainy was chicking away our devotion. I don't like that. Skill upgrader three. Wee. How do robots get sad and run away? Enough convincing. Enough convincing and they'll go away. If you will listen, dear friends, I may be able to offer you further aid in all outings moving forward. I'm listening. I have sources. Sources with information no map you provide will ever reliably deliver. Huh. Enemy insights, warnings of danger, even treasure. And what do you want from us? Just somewhere to set up a tent. Occasional assistance from circus personnel, nothing more. So, where shall I set up shop? You're welcome to that spot over there. Many thanks, Ringmaster. Yes, ever since we moved the outhouse, no one really goes over there anyway. Enjoy the space! <laughs> Perhaps we should assist this mysterious man in unlocking mysterious things. The Oracle helps the exploration team in different ways during city traversal and battles. Assigning characters to assist the Oracle helps reveal enemies and reward types, boosts precision in battles, and also increases the exploration team's devotion after battle. I like that. Assigned characters cannot participate in other activities. I see. I didn't mean to close that immediately. Walker has leveled up. Oh boy. Walker is easily our weakest clown, I would say. I do like this, though. That's a pretty convenient passive to have. Yolanda's leveling up. Which is good, because she's perfect. Her passive kind of sucks, but we'll just we'll deal with it. In fact, this also is okay. Alright. Okay. Oracle. What do you do? On assist, uh, one assist is available. Exploration team gained 1% precision before and 1% Person devotion after the next battle for all assigned performers. Yeah. I need to upgrade this. But I am broke as hell. So, you know. <laughs> we'll, uh... Move on! Okay, I can't craft anymore here. Because I am still broke as hell. Sit back, have a few drinks, th maybe throw a punch or two, or 50, and maybe we can even hire a tough guy if we manage to convince them to join. Ah. Uh, so devotion stuff is good here. Where's my other devotion character? If you would be good here. Over Therese. We'll have Sanjay sitting here. <laughs> Why not, really? Um, I'm using Hestia, right? I wish I'd have Yolanda come in for this fight, I think. I'm using Bisa. Do I want to do that? 
I guess it really doesn't matter. I wonder if this experience multiplier is working on this. I don't know. But hey, it gets the jump done. Okay. Let's go get level 5. And then some. This motivation could be a problem. We wanted to have fun amongst ourselves. That isn't happening. Now you see me, now you still see me. About to co-wallop you into the 20th century. We must settle the conflict in battle. Co-wallop you into the 20th century. That is not something I expected to read. It's four illusionists. Oh, God. What have I done? Actually, this is going to be really good. Some actual magic right now. This one's fun. Poof. Feels good, don't it? What does this do? Enemy attacks are retaliated by moving them to the last slot with an 85% chance. That's quite the chance. I didn't like that. I didn't like that one bit. Do I punch you? I don't think so. You are in an absolutely terrible spot. I might as well try this. Never used that before. I think they all resisted the bullshit. Fair. Oh, come on. That's not for you. Okay. He ran away in fear. He's also going to break. Which leaves two. Care to attack me? No. <laughs> Power surge. Bonk. 69, nice. Okay. There are a few things that need to happen here. I guess I'll try and break the stance. You know who I, am? I don't know if it works. Uh, this is one. This is another. Please heal. Heal quickly. Finger sparks! Go away. I belong back here. The ends come back up. You know, this belly dance is an amazing way to just farm devotion. Just farm all the devotion. I'd also love to have a huge AoE heal, but I, I don't. I don't have that. Uh, I'd like to get rid of this mark, too. Don't have that either. Don't it make you smile? Oh, the disappearing act. Oh. Mm. After a humiliating defeat, Horus promises to join us one day. Horus can show up on the train from now on. Okay. Uh, what? I did well in the thing. <laughs> Who'd think having a lady dancing is a good way to get the team to be devout? I know, right? Devoted. Well, we're level five, which is pretty cool. 
I can actually see that pillar of power. New building and skill upgrades available. Not that I can afford them. <laughs> I have five tools. Five. Where did it all go so wrong? I mean, yeah, I guess I could upgrade that. Ah, <laughs> uh, 200. Collectibles. Oh! There's a legendary guy. Is there, like, a special thing about him? These are all the attacks, yeah. 50% chance to summon three times one HP versions of himself when he is the last man standing. Okay. I mean, that's cool and all. But I don't want you to be the last man standing. <laughs> that means I royally screwed up. Not even a little screwed up. Well, anyway. I wonder if I can even afford this. I can. Good. Um. I need money. Are these tools? Those are gears. Does anything actually give me tools? I don't think so. Okay. I don't think I want to know what the game thinks about this one. <laughs> the two-time multipliers are also really bad here. Grok, am I going to need you? I think I'm going to need you, Grok. I think we're going to need the Grok. Hmm. Do I have any blues? Therese? <laughs> the Nuvon. You don't like... You don't like that. Well, I hate to break it to you, bro. Life is full of things we don't like. <sighs> like you right now. I guess just throwing in Balthazar would do something. These numbers are a problem. Yep. Not even close, bye-bye. And that's partially because of this error. Can I make the numbers bigger somehow? What am I missing? Laugh and fun. I think I can, actually. Ah. Put this back. Not you. Yeah, I don't think I can do this. Uh, at least out with some serious reconsideration. I'm looking for my highest joy. I'm getting close. <laughs> but I think that's it. Okay. My numbers aren't big enough yet. Specifically my multiplier here. Well. 
Sucks to suck, I guess. Technically bigger, but barely. I need seven. Which doesn't look like I can get. Okay. Did the game just avoid putting points in this thing? Because, like, not... Like, no one has it. <laughs> I guess Walker has the most, and he's already up here. Alright, well. Unlocked a new thing I can't even do yet. Feels bad. Let's just go here. Now I have to rejig this again. How do we jig this? Where's my dancer? Yeah. Nope. Which means I need Yvonne. And she would like to be friends with a clown. Don't we all? Hestia is the only one that's universal. She would like to chill here with you. Kind of breaking that, but that's okay, I guess. We'll get over it. <laughs> I bet this can be better. I bet this can be better. Hmm. I told you it could be better. It got better. Um, but up, boop, boo. Ah, yeah, blah, blah. I need money. I need money and everything else, honestly. Step right up, ladies and gentlemen. Might be a build for him to be solo. That's possible, actually. I wonder how that 50% procs, though. Because if it procs, like, when you become the last person, wouldn't you be in a little bit of danger? I guess I know it would never proc. It's time for an interview. Oh, boy. It's nighttime. Be very, very quiet. I'm hunting rabbits. What? Oh. <laughs> there's just no team here. Of course there's no team. I haven't set up the team yet. Uh, Balthazar's back. The big boy himself. Um. Aisha was amusing. Yolanda. I haven't seen Milton in a while. He kind of gets it over Aisha. Thaddeus, the Chad. Sure. I'll try again with this. Seems fine. Actually, it's... Ugh. Milton's so... Milton would come in over Yolanda, wouldn't he? Maybe I can work something out with this. <laughs> I'm not sure what yet. And in the meantime, Yolanda can use the last of my <laughs> my tools to level up. It'll be great. Fantastic. Truly marvelous. I'd love to upgrade you. Literally don't even have ten tools. <laughs> and now I'm about to have one. Great. Amy, back for more dumb insights on my past, I presume? Absolutely. Until the monkey arrives, I'll have to focus on a less intelligent primate, I'm afraid. <laughs> what are your earliest memories of starting the Circus Electrique? The first time. So very long ago. Has it really been 21 years? Well, I was three when it opened, and I'm 24 now. The math adds up. 
Ha! Yes. Math is not my strong suit. But entertaining a crowd, that certainly was. Barnum realized this early on, which led to quite the gift from him for the Christmas of 1874. That's when he told you he wanted to open a new show in London, and that he wanted you to be its ringmaster? No, he just gave me this excellent top hat. <laughs> it was another three or four weeks before he let me know why. The why being, well, all that other stuff you mentioned. Not bad for a 21-year-old top hat. What was Barnum's thinking behind opening the Circus Electric? You do know about the spark, right? The influx of inventiveness in the 70s that gave us the world we have today. I was just a baby uncle, but I am familiar with recent Earth-changing history, yes. The alternative Earth-changing history. Well, it just so happened that Barnum had received a tip on new technology stemming from the spark. In some ways, even better than anything else out there. A technology not based on improving the world through practicality. No, this was improving the world through entertainment. Barnum loved his show in the US, just the way it was. And he knew that what he was seeing would quite literally light things up as a show of its own. The power of electricity. He'd always dreamed of expanding his entertainment empire to Europe. And the show soon to be known as the Circus Electrique was the perfect way to do it. Ah. Why did Barnum choose you to lead it? That's a great question. Believe it or not, my niece, some people do find my showmanship quite charming. Luckily for me, Barnum was among them. At the same time, he also knew I wanted to get back home. My sister had just had a baby, after all. Cute kid, I hear. <laughs> the cutest! So the next thing I know, it's 1875. I'm on the bow of a ship watching America's centennial fireworks grow smaller and smaller as I return to the country they celebrate despising. <laughs> the centennial was in 1876, Uncle. Oh, really? Well, that makes the story slightly less grand all of a sudden now, doesn't it? Slightly. By 1878, the Circus Electrique was born. And an instant sensation. Made even better by your mother's travels all across Europe for years, recruiting talent. At the cost of a normal childhood for me, yes. You saw more by age 10 than most could hope to see in a lifetime. A unique experience. It's amazing how much faith Barnum put in you. Even Mum bought into it. First with our travels across Europe to recruit talent and then actually joining the madness in 1886. Shonda the Lion Tamer. We know how that turned out. Barnum's beloved English expansion. Dead in an instant. Just like her. Amy, I... Do you really want to talk about the accident now? No. But eventually, we're going to have to. Eventually. But that's for later on when we're more invested in the story. <laughs> Although to be fair, we are like six hours invested, which means this is probably my final fight. Alrighty. So this weird bastard. Oh, they have so much motivation. Uh, I can do this. Oh. Hmm. Well, okay. This to me. <sighs> Do I just belly dance? Because I don't think... Who else is doing... I don't think anyone else is doing freaking devotion. Or... Yeah, devotion damage. So I think I'm just going to try and mind control this dude. <laughs> that one called you ugly. I don't think it worked. No! And you're going to slap. The healing power of laughter. Because why not, really? Ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba -ba. <laughs> do I just belly dance? Yes, please. Honestly, I probably do. Ooh, good dodge. Ow. Was that 36 damage? What? All right. Well, 
You got what you wanted. Ow! Motherfucker. Why? Uh, bibbity bobbity. Oh, better tell. Get off my property. I do need to he oh dear. No! No, no, none of this. None of that either. Uh go the fuck away. You didn't like that. I really need to not die. Not dying would be great. And I'm not sure how That's best to do that. That wasn't it. Clown it healing. Good, don't it? Please keep healing. Yeah, hit me. Ow, that hurt. Ow, that hurt again. Why is it hurting so much all of a sudden? Everything hurts right now. I'm glad you're focused. Stun this, please. Thank you. <laughs> he said have some glitter, didn't he? Have some glitter. Okay, so I hit the stun. And now I'm going to hit him. Uh... I wanted to do this after another belly dance. After another belly dance, maybe after another heal. Am I gonna have that chance or do I just let it go? I think I just let it go. With how hard he was hitting me. He could have very easily like machine gunned two characters and killed them. <laughs> Exclusive. Yolanda leveled up. Fantastic. She's caught up to the team. I just, um, I need more of this. This is missing. What are you going to do with this? Oh, it fixed it. Okay. Well, fixed is a very strong word. I still have none of this shit. <sighs> tools, tools, tools. How do we get more tools? I don't know. But, <laughs> need that clipped and then put into notification. I don't even know what I said. <laughs> and that's a good sign that it's time for me to maybe replay easy levels? Maybe. I can't do that without a thing, though. Whoops. I need a time capsule to reopen a previously finished district. I need to do it here to get these other two collectibles. And then fight this for loads of stuff. But we are six hours in. Uh, in like four minutes. It's close enough. <laughs> so I think that's it for today. This game caught me off guard. I wasn't expecting it. I don't know what I was expecting from this game, to be honest. The description is wild for this game. And the game is pretty wild. Even like five hours in, we were still getting notifications about new mechanics. But I think we've opened up everything. I think. And now it's just a matter of getting tools. <laughs> upgrading it and putting it all into one giant puzzle of effectiveness, hopefully. There are still quite a few more characters for us to unlock. I think there's a total of like 15 archetypes or something ridiculous. And we've seen like seven or eight. <laughs> Maybe more than that. But thank you all for watching. Thank you all for hanging out today. Thank you to the patrons and channel members who support the channel. I greatly appreciate you. And if anyone wants to see updates happening on the channel, feel free to join the Discord description down below. And I'll see you for more Circus Electric later.
There might be an Archeon stream between now and then. There might be a poll about whether I continue the Archeon stream. <laughs> Thanks, everyone. Have a great day, night, whatever. I'm going to go get some food. Bye!